Hallå! Well, well, well! We are back! A lot of you probably tuned in earlier today. If not, uh, we've been gaming a bit today. But now we're back to um, a bit of a stream, watching my guild uh, take on ICC. Uh, I figured they're gonna be doing a Ruby Sanctum split, maybe one or two, I'm not sure, before they start. So we have a bit of time to go over some of the stuff that I've been looking up. So, if you're already here, that means you're an early bird. Thanks for being here. I guess most people are steadily making their way over here. Let's see. Alright, so I figured let's quickly go look at the leaderboards. Oh, oh, so here we have them, the leaderboards. So currently, if you go to speed, there's a bit of an issue when you're looking at the speed at which guilds are clearing ICC, because every two weeks you get a new percentage buff that makes the raid significantly easier. Not only do you do more damage, you also do more healing, which means that um, basically you can cut healers and go harder and harder. So if you first off just look at the competition, uh, you can see that none of the above was playing a comp configuring of 9 melee, which is the highest number. You see that number again all the way down at top 12. So pretty nice. Uh, another thing that stands out is obviously that you have a guild from Pyrewood Village. Not really a guild or a server that's known for being very fast. That has managed to go pretty fast. Let me see if I can recognize any of the name in the top 5 guild. Uh, so, completely unknown players to me. None of the names I recognize from the private server scene, and none of them I recognize from Gehenna's. So, an alliance guild on Pyrewood Village, going fast as fuck. That's nice to see. And they're rocking an enhancement shaman, but always makes me happy to see. Then we have Floor POV from the US. I really doubt I'll be able to recognize any of the names here. Nah. Virtuso? Maybe I recognize that name? Maybe? Floor POV, I think they are... I mean, looking at the current ladder, they are the number one NIA guild right now. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Luna? Do I recognize any of the name? Schleifer? Schleifer is a viewer that comes here every now and then. Know that guy. Free folks? Content creator, also a fellow Swede. Mm. Nope, that's about it. Newman? Onsi? Very known uh, GDKP leader in the Gehenna scene that is now deciding to turn to speedrunning. Good for him. Uh, do I recognize any of the other names? Nedry X, I recognize from the private server scene. I've done many leveling races against this guy. Tetsu, content creator, YCB, former progress player, Foji, content creator, and uh, we chorus master, of course. And then you have the current number one, that I believe is the only record set this week. No, Luna's time is also with the, the current speed buff, I think. Yes. So... I believe single tanking, Holy Palosphere, Cope God, Tweak, Tweak, I don't know from the private service scene, Alando, Demor, I recognize, Nord, Psycho, Red, Windy, Anderson, my fellow shaman that has turned to the dark side and now is wearing dresses, Ice Crown Main, I believe is Ticked Note. Thompson, I know him from the private server scene. Yeah, pretty much all these people I know because I've played again, against and lost against them many times in speedrunning. 
and seeing that they now vacate the number one spot makes me think Yaikish Baikish. Is this gonna be another season where Nota is just dominating? Or are any of the other contenders gonna be able to contest? They are currently sitting on a two minute lead and relatively speaking, the faster we go, the more impressive a lead becomes. So let's say you have a lead of one minute, but the run is six hours, then that is probably not that impressive. But if a run is five minutes long and you're leading by two minutes, then that is pretty big in terms of relative percentages. So having a two minute lead right now, that is like going 5% faster overall. So if you do some napkin math, you could kind of say that none of the above is playing at 5% more damage than the current number two. So yeah. I'm gonna be excited when Nota decides to run, that should be fun. I don't know exactly when they're going, but we're gonna find out. Now, I did a... Uh... So, this sheet runs a bunch of shit. I'm just gonna look so I don't miss anything here. No, they're just clearing trash. So, uh, this, is, this is Progress currently fastest run, which we fucked up and lost. And this is Nota's best run. So let's just quickly look at, do they have any gear issues? Gnomish cloaking device equipped on Velithria Dreamwalker. As a Demo Warlock, if you don't, if you don't have your spell power trinket, that could mean a bad thing for your overall healing power. So that is immediately something that they could look to fix. The warrior player has done the same issue, he also has a cloaking device equipped on Valithria. But at the end of the day, he's a warrior, completely irrelevant to how fast the guild is going on that particular boss, doesn't matter. But the, but the Demo Warlock definitely should look into fixing that. Progress. Rocket Boots equipped on Council. Rocket Boots equipped on Council. Rocket Boots on rot face and having the wrong enchant on a shoulder slot oh, kind of weird sorry there's an alarm going up in the background let me just check <laughs> sorry about that <laughs> all right let's go back to nota gear listing so the average item level of each player you can find this on worker vlogs as well it's not that impressive combat buffs the dk lost his buff at some point other than that people pretty much managed to hold on to their buff for the majority of the run did progress have the same food buff yeah pretty much pretty much Percentages of fight with a pre-popped potion. So this number right here, if you're parsing, you obviously want this to be 100%. But if you're speedrunning, then you're not always going to be able to pre-pot because you're going to have cooldown from the previous fight. So a better, what do you say? A better number is potions total. Then you can look at exactly the value of said potion. So you can see here that the, the DK used a total of 7, whereas... The warrior used a total of 17. 18 on this guy, Anderson, 18 potions total. Now, you could ask, how come some DPS are able to get 18 potions out and other DPS like this guy is able to get 10 out? That's something for them to figure out. Let me look at us. 18, highest number, I think. 16 on me. Yep. Nothing suboptimal, I think. No. Moving on to professions. Here you can see everybody's using engineering jewel crafting. You have a couple of engineering tailors as well. You have one leather worker, two, three, four, five. Five people using leatherworking in the current world one. Boss debuffs, not really super interesting. It just tracks what the debuff uptime is on each respective boss. Not really interesting. 
here you can validate whether or not you kill enough of each trash. You can also find out if you're able to skip some trash. And here you can see that 17, 17, 100%. I guess they killed too many vengeful flesh reapers, which means they probably procced one trap. That is usually what pushes that number a bit high. Frost resilient, frost res. The shaman is using a bunch of frost resistance. And here you have the number that I wanted to find, and I want to go to 5 CC and time. Bada bing, bada boom. That looks very much like exactly the same though. Fuck, did I fuck that up? Just gonna run the script real quick. Beep boop, I'm a bot. Let me see, how's it going for the boys? Bum, 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 bum. There we go. Okay. And then we want to copy paste it and compare. Could it possibly be so nice that we can just do this time minus that time? So basically, Way I interpret it. Fuck. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense at all. Never mind. I did that a bit too quickly, I think. Anyway, here you can compare the times between different guilds. But it was whatever, you can run both logs in one sheet and it will do the split diffs for you. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, then let's try that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, actually. I think I need to do like this. Go here, we do this. Hello? Hello? Then we go here. Then we go here. So if I press start now, it should add just a new one. Motherfucker, dude. Ah, oh, that didn't quite work out the way that I had hoped. Put the second log on the page where you analyze the time up to the left. Ah. Unfortunate. Well, anyway, it's obvious that they're faster. They're like nine minutes faster or whatever. So that should be the note of times. Then let's add uh, Luna. They did the run on the with the same buff. Boom. Put the second log on the page where you analyze the time. Path ID for first log, path ID for the second one. Mm. Ooh. Let's see if that works. Rukuku says hello there. Hello, Rook. Are you also on the bench POV tonight? Unfortunate, dude. It happens to the best of us. So, they have managed to pull Halion. Good shit, good shit. I feel like this team website isn't... Okay, now, now I can see a bit more people. Nice, nice, nice. You can see stat and OCCC bull. If I click like this... Can I do like that? That, that looks pretty okay, I think. That looks alright. It's watchable. Uh, this is just a split. They're trying to get as much gear as they can before they go into the fast runs, I would imagine. Not really sure why we're doing a Ruby Sanctum split. It's probably because some people are missing the other week. So tonight it looks like we're gonna have uh, a tank POV. And we are gonna have... Um, well, he's a tank and a feral, isn't he? 
speedrun starting 1945. Okay. Sure. Dave the Cave says, are you on the bench? What the fuck? Well, guys, it's true. Currently, with the current state of the game, Enhancement Shaman just isn't able to keep up. Um, you need a Resto Shaman because you need the amount of healing that they are able to dish out. Enhancement Shaman just isn't that necessary. It's better to just bring another of whatever. So our biggest hope right now is basically to get... Uh, basically, Resto Shamans needs to become fucking irrelevant for us to really start to shine. So for the next four weeks... I am probably going to be doing this type of stream for you guys instead. So whenever progress is speedrunning, I'm going to be hosting this run or their run like this. And we're going to watch the different uh, players. Dave says, Enhancement Shaman can't keep up if all other DPS were playing like you, sure, but 100% a loss to bench you. I mean, I wish I could um, I could say, it, say the same, but... Um, I can play as good as I want, and it doesn't take a lot for some other people to just take my spot. Let's just go and look a bit at an old... Uh... Here you have our current fastest run where we wiped, right? So if you look at total damage done across the whole thing, you can find me down here. So I'm right above the Feral Druid that is also doing a lot of tanking, and I am right above the Shadow Priest. This is overall, remember, this is on trash and all of the bosses and shit, yeah? But if you take specific bosses, there are some bosses where Enhancement Shaman is better or worse. Uh, one thing... I don't know, man. Marogar were are okay, Lady Death Whisper were okay. Um, Gunship doesn't matter. Sour Fang, we are okay. I wouldn't say we're great, we are okay. Um, Balithria, we are essentially a Resto Shaman. If you go into Sindragosa, we are so bad. So bad. Um, if you go to Rotface, I think I had a really bad Rotface, but we're not great. If you have Festergut, we are not great. If you have uh, Putricide, we are not great. You see, you see I'm parsing a 90. But I'm losing... Oh shit, you can barely see. I'm parsing 99, but I'm getting out DPS by a mage parsing 90. You understand? Like, a mage that is parsing 90 will beat a 99 parsing Enhancement Shaman. It's not a great tier for us. Okay. Uh, Council. So bad for us. So bad. Again, I'm parsing 99. I'm getting beaten by people parsing 90. You go to... Not Council, we just did that. We can go to Danathel. I'm parsing 98. Pretty bad pull for me, not gonna lie. But you can see up here, like, I'm getting completely destroyed by a mage parsing 88. A mage parsing 88 will out DPS on 99 parsing an Enhashaman. Not great. Not a, not a good look. Ditch King. Not sure what the fuck. Oh right, this is this was a disaster for us. <laughs> right, 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 right. But if you go to overall rankings, and you take the average, <clears throat> like Marogar, I'm up there. Lady Death Whisper, I'm up there. Gunship, nobody cares. But if there, nobody. Uh, Death Bring is Sour Fang, ninety nine. Literally nobody cares. Sindragosa, I did horrible. Rotface, horrible. Vestigat, 98. 99. 99. 98. So, I mean, I am doing okay for myself, but it's just not not great. It's just not a good... Uh, not, not, not a good tier for us. Sadly. If you go and uh, look on my page, for example, my average is 99 and I have a couple of hundreds, but it's not enough. It doesn't matter if your parsing page looks like this, if you're playing a class that just can't keep up, it doesn't matter. And I understand that. 
Let's see. How are they doing? They have a bunch of people dead, but Halion is also almost dead. Oh. oh my god! What happened? Did somebody dispel and just obliterate the fire side? Oh! Oh no, not like this, dude. You hate to see it. Well, this is why we are number seven in the world right now, boys. This is why. Unlucky. Let's see. It's time to become mage number 24. Yeah, I would rather get fucking benched, dude, than play that piece of shit class. Not interested. Kakashi says, Enna Shaman tracking procs, spawning totems, pressing a lot of spells, pulling Pepega damage. Meanwhile, mage with two spells, one dot is doing double. I mean, I, I knew this going into the tier. It's just that I would rather be benched and play a class that I love than play something that I hate. And leadership is a bit annoyed with me because like, I'm fun. You could probably play anything and get a spot. Why do you have to play arguably one of the worst classes in the tier? And I'm like, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Take somebody else. They, Dave the Cave says, are they running double buff DK then? Uh, the guild? Yeah, they should be. They should be. Muga says, I'm a bit surprised to see how rogues are performing compared to private servers. I mean, you can't really look at private servers and say anything. People that played on those servers were so bad in general. You could just have a really strong player and he would, uh, he would just obliterate everyone, sadly. So it's very hard to look at private servers and be like, oh man, this class used to be so good, it has to be scripting. No, people were just really, really bad on private servers in general. That is sadly the reality as a private server player myself. So now we just sit and wait. Let me see if I can find some more points of view here that are maybe not... No, I cannot. I don't think. Actually, I found one of the most secret uh, streamers in the guild. I managed to find Ghosting's point of view. Ghosting is honestly one of the best people in progress. I love this guy. He is... Super nice to work with, easy to work with, very intelligent, does a lot of raid analysis for the guild. He has been leadership briefly, but then he's just back to being a player, but he is super, super instrumental to progress as a guild. Super good player. I've actually never seen his gameplay before. I only know him as a guildie. But this is the first time that I see his, his UI, and I'm just gonna quickly hide myself and be like, damn. This UI, even though I'm not used to it, is crazy clean. I mean, I don't know why I would ever expect something else, but... Dude, this is fucking clean. Whoa, yo, 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 we're, we're flying, dude, we're flying. Okay, one guy is dead. Oh my god, that meteor right there is quite something, dude. I think I'm gonna make myself a bit smaller. That's perfect. But yeah, Ghosting, total key player of progress. Somebody that I really respect, but I've never seen his point of view when he's actually playing. But it's a bit fun. ACUC says, how do I switch to Gehanas if I'm NA? Is it possible? It doesn't let me. No, I think you're stuck on NA, bro. I don't think that there's anything you can do about that. Man, I really like his... Uh... Read cooldowns down here by the chat. That looks clean. I'm probably gonna add just a picture down here to protect his chat, actually. I see that he didn't even bother fixing that, so I'm gonna do it for him. Uh, Unfall Productions. Yes, this is Unfall Productions.
Just casually saving people in the guild from accidentally leaking all of their shit. Yeah, I'm nice like that. Boom. And boom. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, actually super clean UI. Uh, can I see, is, is his FPS up here to the right? Is, does he really have 120 plus FPS mid-combat with all of these uh, shit going on? What type of NASA computer is running this? Like, what the fuck, actually? I get a bit upset because I'm sitting on a decent computer and I never have this fluent gameplay. Damn you. Did both runs go? No. Uh, neither of the runs have started yet. They're starting with uh, Obsidian Sanctum, and then we're gonna go. I got a little bottle for this special location because we're celebrating me finally being free for one week. This is my first week of not being slotted in a speedrun. So, I figured we celebrate. This is a stream that is dedicated to an adult audience, and this is part of why. Let's just uh, pop this one. Oh. Nice handling of the fucking debuff, dude. Please don't be shaken and just fuck me up right now. Nice pull, boys. Really good Ruby Sanctum. So silently. You, you just, I know it's very uh, tempting to just pop that shit, but man, I did that like uh, my life depended on it. Analysis does POV is probably more interesting to be honest, since listening to insight is more interesting than watching another speedrun POV. I mean, there is gonna be some insight, but again, I'm not gonna like spill the beans and uh, tell some secret tech. I'm just gonna tell it like I see it, how the boys are doing. Uh, what are they doing? What went wrong? What are they trying to achieve, yeah? But yeah, I'm just out here, dude. Four weeks of not having to speedrun. Sorry, I'm gonna cheer with my wife here. You know? Wait, 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 wait. This is actually the same drink that we had at our wedding. So here's to you. They can see your arm at least. And here's to me. A bit, a bit. That's better. That looks good. Yep, cheers to you guys as well. What's Ghosting's Twitch? He's actually not streaming on Twitch. He's streaming on the YouTube. And here we are. Stat POV. The thing is that's fu I don't know if you guys ever watch Stat. I know that Wowhead really pushes his stream down everybody's throat. Whenever progress achieves anything, the guy that is writing the Wowhead articles always has a stat POV and a link to him. I ain't salty about that, but if you've ever consumed stat content, he has this little funny habit that whenever things turn to shit, it's the camera shaking. Exactly, like OGM is typing. That when something goes wrong, he just does like back forth back forth like shake the fuck out he's so angry and it's such a vivid form of expression but yeah i i really i find it super funny i think his ui is extremely clean i think it's more to the same style as my own i like to play with a lot of colors when i play i don't know maybe i'm like eight years old or something in my head but if I play with a grayed out uh, 
UI. I use I use miss shit. I understand the whole idea by having a very toned down UI. You can like make it easier to see stuff as it's happening. But to me, it's super hard. At the top right here, you can see the FPS of stats. I don't know if the quality is good enough, but he has between 40 and 50 FPS, which is something that most people that play this game is pretty much used to having. I think having around 40 and 60 FPS in combat is the standard norm for most people. So seeing uh, Ghosting's point of view where he had 120 FPS mid-combat was like watching another game. I really think uh, this game becomes so much better if you're at 80 plus FPS. Okay, let me see how he does this. I mean, that was a pretty good dispel. No camera shaking, he's happy about that, he's happy. I have to say, the, the font that uh, Stat is using is really clean. I like it. I might just steal it, actually. Seeing it now, I'm like, yeah. That looks pretty neat. Alright. Maybe I just steal his LVI profile, but then I position the bars like I want. That should be the easiest. Isn't it like expressway? No, you, you can see you see that uh, text in the middle of the screen when he was casting cutters or whatever? That is not expressway, that is something else. But Stat is a nice guy, he shares his entire UI on uh, Wago, so if you just go there and type in his name, you can find his UI for sure. Okay, so if you look at the damage done profile here at the right, you can see that a Feral is topping, there's two Warriors, Hunter, Mage, DK. Now, the raid is gonna split up, and there's gonna be a couple of people that are gonna be on the upside and are able to cleave. With the way that the filter on Warcraft logs works right now, I think it still counts the damage on these adds. And it doesn't consider it as padding. You guys tell me if I'm wrong here. I might be wrong on this. Because on release at least, it was so much more DPS to go on the upside, which is the fire side that we're watching right now. Because all of this volley damage that he's doing, that is going into uh, his uh, parse. Oh my god, people are just dying left and right, aren't they? We have lost a druid. We're losing people inside now. A warrior died inside. This is going horrible for the boys. This was supposed to be a nice little warm-up before they go into speedruns. And now, now you see the camera shaking. You can see him starting to get a little bit upset. Uh, this is the type of... Um, what do you call that? Let, let me just quickly look. Non-verbal signs of aggression. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Alright, uh, this isn't the warm-up that you want. Uh, normally, if you're about to go into... Okay, so most of you guys watching this are probably big street fighters and big on MMA and shit, and you, like, break people's faces all the time. As you know, that before you go into a fight, you want to be warmed up, but you don't want to be exhausted. But you want to build confidence so that you, when you walk into that ring, you feel as strong as you can. You have no doubts, and you know you have worked on your technique, and you're feeling nice and fresh. What we're doing right here in progress is what we like to call completely fucking wrong. So what they're doing now is that they are basically hurting their own confidence, not really learning anything, and they are deteriorating in their focus. Because right now, all of the DPS monkeys are starting to think like, man, if these people were just as good as me, this boss would have been dead long ago. I swear, if I could just clone myself, this boss would have been dead long ago, long ago, long ago. And people are starting to get annoyed with each other, which is not what you want before going into a speedrun. You want people to be like, fuck yeah, let's go. Not a great start to the night. Not a great start. It's good to warm up, though. Now... 
when I made the graphics for this uh, behind me right here, I maybe didn't know that we are currently ranked at number 7 in the world, okay? I thought maybe we were top 3. Maybe. Okay, maybe somebody else got a good run, but it's pretty much us and Nota, right? Turns out, nope, we are fucking irrelevant right now. So that's part of me why me why I'm being benched actually, because if if the current like leaderboard looks like this and you have progress down here, then something needs to like you need to switch it up somehow. And I guess benching me was part of that thought process. Okay, let, let's see how many Enha Shamas we can find in top 10. Zero. 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 Oh my god! They play two Shamans, but none of them are Enhancements. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay. Four enhancement shamans. Not that bad, actually. I, I am. I'm, I'm, I, we take those. We take those. That's acceptable. We would be rank four from last week's run if that disaster doesn't happen on Lich King. Yeah, but being rank four is the same as being rank number seven, six, seven. It doesn't matter. It's so f incredibly bad, dude. Like, top two, or we cringe and hide ourselves. Like, anything else is just a disaster. <coughs> oh. Oh my god, this point of view is so fucking clean. It's so clean. 130, 142 FPS combat. 49, dude! 158! What is this computer? What the fuck, man? Imagine if everybody in our guild had this NASA computer. We could run a fucking AI and play- Oh my god, did he disconnect? No, it's fine. OGM says, Crysim 15 FPS during the chain. Right? I'm super excited about seeing ghosting POV and I get to see it in ICC, but I wasn't mentally prefer prepared to see just how good his computer is. Oh my god, his ping is 730. Oh my god, he is... Uh, luckily for him, he's playing the class that is... Um, I would say pretty forgiving to be get, uh, playing like this. Okay, look, I'm not Ret Pala main, but what is going on here? Is this some kind of weak or something? Or add-on that is uh, doing this? Telling him what which button to press? That is pretty based. It's a rotation helper? I've seen those priority rotation things for enhancement shamans, but I've never tried them. I guess they are okay. Welcome to Red Pala. What are your point? Oh, you guys can't see. Can't actually. Oh, sorry. You you guys see his rotation over his mana bar, right? There's like a priority helper telling him which uh, spell that is available first. Okay, he did the spell and the freedom on the hunter. Red Pala based support. I don't really see an uh, Halion's corporeality is 50 50. You don't really want to lust here if you're on the inside. You would rather wait for it to push to 40, like go down, and then send it. Corporeality 60. If that means that they have to stop, I usually rely on the weak aura myself. That makes it a bit easier to know if your side needs to push or not. I think Stat had it. Let, let, me, let me explain. Okay, so at the very top here, you can see um, a bar. What the, why is it like bugged? 
it's in the middle and now it's gonna tick to one side so right now it's basically telling the side that he's on that he needs to do less dp oh my god why did he dispel a meteor again in the group oh my god oh my god we're getting the shakes he's shaking oh my god he, he's like uh, an autistic kid that can't express himself in words so instead he's like just shaking in the back of the class putting down names in his death note he can't cope damn Oh, there it is again, there it is again. The fucking 720 SSX tricky rotation gameplay. Is that the fourth pull? I think that's the fourth. So, this guy is gonna be streaming tonight as well. Uh, OCC Bull. I think he's one of the Germans that we recently recruited. To super cool guy. I like him. He's nice. Um, but he's pre pretty much uh, new to the guild. So I don't know exactly how good he is yet. But he's a nice person. <laughs> oh, he's added. Maybe even later, Monk S. <laughs> That's how you know it's a great night. When the first text was speedrun starts 1945. Maybe later? <laughs> Maybe? They should enable the percentage buff, that should help. Yeah, that, that should definitely help, dude. That should definitely help them out. Let me see if more people have started to stream yet. Not yet, not yet. Right now we only have stat POV. So, if I look at the names down here, let me just see. Papas, Urius, both of them are in the speedrun. Yarvi is probably not. Fussy, don't care is in the speedrun. Beam, I'm not sure, maybe. Peem, probably on his mage. Hadugin is in. Devil is in. Weasel is in. Ghosting is in. Shine, I don't think he's in this time. Potatoes, Warrior. Essa, I don't think he's in. La Potre is gonna be the unholy DK for sure. Stet, Hunter. Tonix is probably gonna be a mage. Sveto is probably gonna play a uh, feral. Pim two, maybe the shadow priest. Pimia, maybe. Serenity is back. He's definitely gonna be playing. Julius is the raid leader, of course. He's gonna be playing. Probably his warrior. Altex, I don't think Altex has the gear that he needs yet. Alicita is gonna be playing his feral. Visk is uh, gonna be playing, she's a uh, tank, and Siku is probably gonna play his mage. Out of these 25 people, Siku and Papas and me are private server uh, refugees coming into Classic. All the other people are pretty much uh, re uh, retail players or Classic players. One thing that's going to be a bit interesting is that there's not that big influx of players coming from Kata private servers into Kata Classic. Around this time when TBC was going to transition into Wrath, both me, Siku, Papas, like all of us were joining Progress. Um, yeah, we, we were joining Progress in TBC to be ready for the launch of Wrath. I know Siku used to run GDKPs, I was gearing up my and leveling my shamans. But yeah, around this time, I would imagine the people that want to play Kata should be here already. If you if you join later than this, I think you're late. Man, this is gonna be a long night, isn't it? So, if you just tuned in, we're watching the progress warm-up before the speedruns. They are uh, doing a quick little Ruby Sanctum, which turned out to be a bit of a time sink. I think this is the fifth pool now, and they have pretty much wiped to dispels. Like, I think they've wiped to people either not running out or people dispelling too early. It's been really, really weird.
Is this how you play Hunter? You just press all of your abilities and then you start steady shotting. Is that it? So now you do multi shot. Yeah, and now when everything is on CD, you do a steady shot into explosive shot. Is, th is this how complicated Hunters are now? Is this it? You just do everything on CD and then you just steady shot if no nothing else is available. Is that it? I've never played Hunter in Wrath actually. For good fucking reason. It looks so boring. Yep, that's how we play it. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Wow, there's actually no skill involved whatsoever. What, 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 what is the thing that makes hunters uh, like? What's the difference between a really good hunter and a decent hunter? I, in terms of DPS output, I mean, what, what is the difference? Who is proking? Is it about who, how you play the procs, or is it more like if you're proking, kinda? They hit their traps. Okay, so a bad hunter just fucking whiffs their traps. That's it. You used to be trap weaving. Yeah, but they fixed that, right? With the rocket launcher. The one who does the least misdirections wins. Good. Okay, we've been here before. I think the lowest wipe we saw was 6%. Boss is at 35. Uh, it's not like anything is gonna change. It's just the same shit on repeat. Now, the living side here... They need to push damage on the boss. I'm worried that they're gonna push one more corporality in the wrong direction here. Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. That's good. All is well. The te I think if there's one ability I wish I could have as an Enhancement Shaman, well, I probably want a lot of abilities, one would be the Terrence. The Terrence looks like so much fun. You guys know what I mean? Like, I feel like all classes should have deterrence. Looks so much fun. Max one says, why are they wiping? Uh, I mean, I think most of the wipes have just been bad dispels or people not moving out. That's it. So it has nothing to do with uh, trying to speed kill or anything. You don't want the Terrence, you're thinking about something. No, I mean disengage. I mean disengage. Uh, the jump thing, that's what I want. Sorry, 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 sorry. Any defensive outside of Shamanistic Rage would be nice. No, 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 I, I take it back. I don't want any more defensives. Disengage on every class would make World of Warcraft a better game. I really think so. Disengage is just awesome. Goblins get something similar. When, when do we get goblins? Is that in Kata? Can goblins be shamans? Maybe that is the next thing for me, for you to be a disengaging shaman. As I disengage away from every responsibility in the game. Goblin shaman is gonna be Biss. They, they are probably gonna enable that you can buy with WoW tokens and get the... Uh, Racial change, don't you think so? It's a forward disengage. That doesn't sound like disengaging at all. Disengaging forward sh sounds more like a charge or a leap. <laughs> yeah, it's engaging. <laughs> the exact opposite. Okay. Now, we are gonna try something here. Uh... Let's see here. So, they are gonna get into ICC, set up the summons, and then we're gonna be heading in to the game. Uh... That is gonna be rough. That is gonna take a while. What time is it now? 1942. I would imagine this takes at least like 10 15 minutes. So let me see. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I had something more for you guys. Nice. 
Okay, maybe you guys remember, I recently showed on stream that I've been working on the uh, ICC movie for uh, progress. Now I'm gonna showcase it again. The quality is a bit bad. Let me actually see if I can uh, upload the correct version of the trailer. Uh, so you can have something to do while we wait. I'm nice like that after all. Let's see, is it this one? Is it this one? Boom, boom. Okay, let me just see if I can pull that up real quick for you guys. Quality looks okay. That's all right, but it's not exactly the one that I had in mind. Okay. Sorry, this is a bit kringe that I didn't prep this before. I thought I wouldn't need to entertain you guys more than just what I'm already doing. But as it turns out, my boys are uh, in a bit of a pickle. The pickle, of course. So let me just see, is, is this it? No. God damn it, dude. Is this the one? Holy shit. Yes. Okay, uh, get the highest quality for the boys. Okay, that's gonna take a while. Yikes! Do tomorrow's weather. Weather. Sweden. Ah. Sweden weather radar. Holy shit, this looks scuffed as hell, dude. Alright, let's figure this out together, what the fuck we're looking at. I would imagine that the blue means... Snow and the green means rain. Yeah, there's an interpretation down here. Then there's ice? Ice falling from the sky over here in the fucking uh, conflict area of Ukraine down here? Finland seems to be having a great time right now with just snow, dude. Okay, I'm gonna take a bet and think that Mongolia is gonna have a lot of snow right now. like no fucking snow at all there's like a tiny fraction of snow down here in mongolia holy shit japan looks like disaster right now though all right i think i got the video now let me see does this work please 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 i think it worked maybe check the weather in the us oh shit this this right here Looks exactly what I imagine uh, the eye of a storm to look like. You know, you see it in the movies and shit, and you see, like, a bro this looks so bad. Oh, okay. What I know is that in the mid, in the eye of the storm, it's usually relaxing. Let's find out. I mean, kinda. Like, right here, it isn't that bad. Could be worse. Looks alright. Looks alright. Oh my god, this, this looks like garbage, dude. There's ice, water, and snow. Damn, would you look at that? Uh, okay, let me just see that this is correct. Please be correct. Yes. Okay, the quality might be bad, but this is the trailer to the movie that I'm working on. Fuck it. Let's end it. Uh, let's go like this. They are still setting up to be ready for the speedrun. They are not quite there yet. Kringe. BLC.
Oh my god. This is gonna be loud, because I could already hear in my headset that this shit is loud as fuck. So, maybe do a little bit of this right now, if you are very sensitive. I don't know how loud this is gonna be. Does this work? Nope. Hold up. We do, uh... We have a bit of production issue right here. Not the boss place. You're correct, Cannon. Both is not there. Just about got the Yeah. That's oh. it can still hit. Yes. Shine here. Also. Yeah, red. Yep, good. Nifty TVC boots. Bait, if it goes on anyone, do not trust. Ah, uh, uh, pretty hype, pretty hype for the boys. But yeah, uh, it's a lot of uh, footage, there's a lot of uh, people that I want to be represented in the video. Uh, so there's um, a lot of work. And when I'm doing stuff like this, streams for you guys and stuff, uh, then... Uh, yeah, that sadly does take away a bit from what I can put effort into other than this. So let's see, they are not ready to start quite yet. Uh, oh my god, no! I have been deceived! They are doing one more Ruby Sanctum! Oh man. Well, I'm not gonna let that bring me down. If the boys are in there fighting for their lives, that I am sure as heck not gonna let this drag down the production quality of this stream. This means that I have a bit more content that I need to fill out, actually. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Missing number says, Genium XD. I feel like it fits the sports commentator vibe pretty well. I think I'm wearing... I am dressed just right for the occasion, actually. Soma says, you know how to check this sheet. Bro, I am illiterate as fuck. I wouldn't be able to read a sheet even if you tried to pay me money. Like, you tell me when to be there and I'll be there, but I'm not gonna sit there. Like, if I'm not slotted for a raid, I don't give a fuck who's slotted. I just assumed we were speedrunning today. That was the whole point of today. Dave the Cave says 10 more wipes incoming. Look, 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 there's no way they're wiping 10 more times. There's no way. There ain't no way. Now, I'm thinking we, we could probably fill out this downtime a bit with me inviting a special guest to the broadcast. Uh, you there, bro? I am doing a shoutcasting session and want a secret guest to shoot to ask some questions. Okay, I sent this to two people. I will only tell who the, this person is if they reply. If they don't get back, you guys will never know who they were. 4K Maddie G says, play Fortnite with viewers while we wait for Ruby Sanctum to finish. Yeah, that sounds like the only professional thing to do. Tuki says, weird that I didn't go into my DMs. Yeah, there's a lot of people right now just <laughs> checking their shit, but sadly it's probably not you. Okay, we got one guy telling us that he can't come. That is unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. So, we have one guy, one more lifeline that we have tossed out that can maybe save me from this. Bring on Alando. I don't know that guy. And Hadugin. Is Hadugin playing or is he Yeah, he's playing. I can't I can't call Hadugin. I want Hadugin to come on stream after the speedrun. If, if if we manage to get a new record, I would want for Hadugin to be there. Guys, if I DM'd you, if you're in my chat right now and I DM'd you, 
Please don't say that fa uh, thank you Anfa for DMing me, but I'm busy smile. Don't say that, you're breaking my heart and you're leaking my contacts as well. Just, just play it cool. Don't be cringe, don't be weird about it, please. We need another j -Row interview. I mean, j -Row is barely playing the game anymore. I don't know what he's doing, actually. Last thing I know about j -Row is that he got demoted from member to trial again. That is usually not a great sign. Chris says, hey man, what's up? I mean, I tried to reach out to you. Credit was actually one of the people that I tried to contact, but he said, no, I have raid in a bit. So, uh, that's unfortunate. Mm -mm -mm -mm. K K K. I'm playing Black, Black Fathom Deeps just like Tuki. He enjoys it. I don't. I mean, I have. I have not met many people that seem to enjoy uh, BFD right now. It seems like pretty horrible content to be doing, actually. I do nine Black Fathom Deeps every every three days. I love it. Yikes and bikes, dude. What, what, are, what are the latest things about SOD? I heard some... Uh, oh my god, my wife is angry at the fucking... Uh, you good? Yes. Sometimes... You guys know exactly what I mean. When you pick out the dishwasher, you can do it in a respectful way, like you respect the human rights of the cutlery or you can consider it a chance to beat the living fuck out of the cutlery it it sounds it you can hear it in your um you can you can almost feel the cutlery crying out and the when it's getting uh, slammed and hammered into the shelves you, there has to be someone here that knows what i mean when you can hear somebody angrily taking out the dishwasher it has a certain sound. It's shit isn't breaking, but there's definitely a certain sound to it. Loker Boa says the best things about BFD is that it's over in 15 minutes. Yeah, that's usually a great sign for a game when the best thing about a game is that it it's over quickly, so I can just leave. Okay, we have a great start to this pool. Both the warlock and the mage has been has died once. And we're not even in phase two yet. So let's see how this goes. Ah, oh. Black Fathom Deeps is only boring now because it's been out for over a month on a three-day lockout. That's true. That's a good. Uh, that's a good uh, example, actually. Ah, oh, what are we looking at here? They're delaying the push to stage 2, so they're doing a bit of a pussy split right here. Now they enter. I did a couple of Ruby Sanctum pulls earlier today in a GDKP. Uh, wasn't great. Pretty bad vibes overall, I would say. Most of the wipes were obviously tank related, but I feel like a big issue is just people standing in mechanics. And I understand that it's week two and it takes some time for people to know how stuff work, but I don't know, man. I feel like the only way you really die on this boss is if the tank really wants everybody to die, or if you are uh, not paying attention to your screen. Those are like the two big reasons. Now you see, that guy got fucked over there. Bye, dude! That person died to a cutter, I think. Bye! Now, I'm not gonna be salty here. But, watching my own guild struggle in Ruby Sanctum because of personal mistakes... ...and being benched... 
You know what? I think it makes me happier, actually. I don't want to play with some of these people, I just realized. At first, I was like, when I see people f get a spot over me, but then they fail stuff, maybe that would make me annoyed or unhappy. Or feel like, man, I deserve the spot. But it's quite the opposite, actually, with that when I see people play like dogs, I get more happy that I don't have to play with them tonight. You know? So I'm actually perfectly happy sitting here and talking to you guys instead. It's actually a pretty good cope. <laughs> Grumpy says, Kara is removing Parry Haste. That was a good change. Uh, I, don't I don't know about the... I think Parry Haste is one of the flavor of the month words that people are just saying all the time. Parry Haste, Parry Haste, Parry Haste. It's like, whatever, dude. Tony says, everybody makes mistakes. You know it, smile. Yeah, but I mean, just because people make mistakes, that doesn't make me want to play with them more. Church says, I just woke up. Is this where the content is? I mean, right now we're in a bit of a... So this is split number two of Ruby Sanctum before we head into speedruns. I'm benched. So we're watching my guild uh, doing two quick Ruby Sanctums, but sadly the first Ruby Sanctum of the day was not going great. I think it was maybe five or six pulls, but this looks way better. This looks like it could be a one shot, which could, could be good for the boys to build up their confidence a little bit. Freddy says, Anfa made a big, huge mistake today in the Honsu raid. The mistake was signing up to the raid. I mean, we did pull through. It really wasn't that bad of a raid. We just had a raid leader with a total me uh, total uh, mental breakdown. That's pretty much what happened. I would love to replay the clip of what happened, but I can't because it's breaking the terms of service of this platform like six times. Nice, nice rocket boot. Ooh, love to see it, dude. Now, his FPS is still over 100. If, if his FPS is gonna be this good the entire night, I am gonna be a bit pissed. Like, this makes me mad. Eight more percent until a one shot. One guy died on the outside. That's a DK, I think. Okay, okay, okay. It can happen, it can happen. Five more percent. Then I think we're gonna have a little break from the broadcast uh, until the speedruns actually start. Twilight Cutter, one more percent. Let's see what we get. I think this... The Caster Trinket is probably the best you can get, or the Armor Pen Trinket. And we got Glowing Twilight Scale. I don't know which one that is. Can you please hover over it? Please hover. Please hover. Please, please. Oh my god, you look at the boots! Oh, you plate user, dude. It's the healer one. Okay, it's the worst one, kind of. That's fine. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Now they should be doing loot, and they should be getting ready. All is well in the hood, of course. Now, I have made a couple of YouTube videos in my days. Some of them I'm very proud of. My most uh, famous YouTube video in terms of views has is my Enhancement Shaman Wrath Guide. That is, however, not the video that I am mostly proud of or that I like the most. I am gonna go take a piss because I've been enjoying myself. But I am going to be playing a YouTube video of mine while we do it. Uh, so I think it's a good video. I think it's a small essay on what's important. Maybe you don't like it. Mute. I'll be back in like five minutes. So I'm just going to let it roll until then. So I'm going to see you in a little bit. And until then, be right back.
Bobby Fischer was a world champion at chess and he has some interesting things to say on why he hates chess, despite it being the best in the world at some point. No, I hate chess very much. No, I, I hate chess. I hate chess, really. You hate chess? Yeah. Why do you hate chess, being the probably and possibly the best chess player ever? Because I, I know what chess is all about. It's all about memorization, it's all about prearrangement. But creativity. Creativity is, 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 is lower down on the list. According to Bobby Fischer, the world is obsessed with the outcome of a game, to determine its value. Who wins, who has the biggest win streak, or who loses. He believes that there are three qualities that constitute a great competitive chess player, and these are memorization, strategy, and lastly, creativity. Bobby also believes that there is no joy in memorization or strategy. They are disciplinary tasks, learned through hours upon hours of studying and playing the game. There's this saying in chess that now the game starts, which refers to the number of moves that are past the realm of knowing. The amount of turns it takes for a player to reach this realm of unknowing is different for someone with great memorization and strategy compared to someone who is completely new to the game and just learned about it. But it's only past this point that we get to live the art and the creative side of chess, what Bobby would have called real chess. Let's take Bobby's approach and apply it to World of Warcraft Classic. What constitutes a great player in order is memorization, strategy and creativity. I played Warcraft for many years and the classic versions of the game emphasize strategy more than anything. If your players have the best items, in the best raid setup, with the best positioning and best cooldown management, the bosses will surely die. Secondly, memorization is huge, as someone who has done the content previously only needs to freshen up their memory while a new player will play less confidently. If you have wiped to every mechanic before, chances are you have learned from it, and these memories are instilled in you as experiences. Lastly comes creativity. In Classic, you don't necessarily need to reinvent the wheel or find some moon landing level of new discovery to be great at the game. You can just absor absorb other people's discoveries and put them into good use. Being creative only helps you in new situations. And if your memorization and strategy is solid enough, new situations in Classic are very rare. But here lays the paradoxical truth of having fun when playing games, or in Classic especially. Is memorization and strategy truly fun? It's surely important, but is it fun? Well, when a dance company practices for a show and executes the choreography perfectly, they sure do seem happy. But it's a 100% result-driven joy. Creativity, on the other hand, while being the least important piece of the Warcraft player skill puzzle, is where the fun truly lies. I'd say people in general think too deeply about Raid Comp this, set up that. The strategy side of Warcraft completely dominates the content dom creation domain, because it's the easiest to digest and convey to the masses. There's plenty of material out there to make you a better classic player. You can play the game, memorization, and read and consume content for strategy. But I would like to emphasize the last point, creativity. Look at the players you have in your guild. What are they good at? What are they awful at? Play around those strengths to make a strategy tailored to it, because unlike popular belief, most tank players can't play all tank classes equally well. All melee DPS can't seamlessly perform as a death knight alt. Maybe some of your guild roles should be swapped around. Don't take skill, performance or creativity out of the equation when it comes to getting good results. What is the best class at doing X? Whether it's tanking, DPSing or healing, it's strategy, yes, but the glaring difference between WoW Classic and Chess is the mechanical side of the game. Me myself talk often about how mechanically easy Warcraft is, but if you compare it to a board game, it's still way more things to process to make good decisions in the moment. It is mechanical to some degree, and you should push yourself and your guildies to be the best they can be, not necessarily play the best class that they could be. It is a funny thought experiment to theorycraft the best raid setups and strategy, I've been there myself, sure, but those answers are easily found everywhere. Small variations to the answer may occur and the beta findings might change things ever so slightly, but it is very easy to grasp. Creativity, however, isn't easy to grasp. 
mechanical prowess isn't. Of course, there is a most effective tactic available in WoW Classic, just like there is in chess. Choosing to ignore findings made by others or available existing knowledge is an active choice. We can't look away from the positive outcomes of memorization and strategy, just like Bobby couldn't do that in the 70s. I would just like to think that even for the most effective tactic available, you can still approach the creative and mechanical side of WoW ad infinitum. Much akin to Bobby's belief that chess was figured out by him in the 70s, many WoW players believe that they have reached the highest echelons of gameplay in Classic. Memorization is completed through endless hours of split, PTRs, private servers, and the game is re-released from 10 years ago. Strategy, or pre-arrangement as Bobby had it, has all the sheets, theory crafting and simulations done that you could possibly need to kill the content. And I mean, come on, being creative in WoW only goes as far as executing your rotation, which is super easy, right? I like to remind myself that it's easy to get blinded by your own bias. Maybe your understanding of the strategy is flawed. Perhaps your memorization of encounters is clouded by nostalgia and biases. And most likely, your own perceived skill has tons of mediocre plays and mistakes that is up to you to fix. Most people think that their level of play, mechanics, or creativity as Bobby would have called it, is adequate and they consume and focus on expanding their understanding of strategy through content or asking questions in Twitch chat. This isn't a mistake as there's plenty of content out there, but is this fun? Is strategy and memorization fun? Or does the true fun lay in creativity and executing proper mechanics? Fuck, I'm muted, dude. What I was saying is that that video is almost three years old. I made that about well, two years ago. Two years ago. And uh, yeah, I think that there's a lot of good stuff in there. So sorry for you guys that I just went AWOL, but I had to fix some stuff. I see that the guild has uh, started to gather now. Uh, we have plenty more streams that are up as well. We have, uh, well, Hellspawn is streaming hardcore, so we're not watching him. We have a rogue point of view, we have a warrior point of view, we have feral druid point of view, and we have hunter. Now, let's put up a poll. What POV do we watch Marugar in to start? Let's go with hunter, uh, warrior, rogue, feral. Now, I will give you guys, I would say, 10 minutes to vote on this. I sadly think that it's still a bit of... Uh, we're still not really close to actually pulling. So, check that out, check that out. Make sure you get your votes in, get your votes in, people. Bum, bum, bum. Guild rankings. Let's just look a little bit at the current damage done, shall we? I want to look at Shaman gameplay. Enhancement Shamans. Okay. Boss DPS, boss and trash fights. Okay. <clears throat> so, there's some guy here that had a 54 minute run. Oh, that, that is the, uh, that is the, um, the alliance skill that's like top four now, I think. Then there's me, Anderson, guy named Jebber. Oh, Jeb, I think uh, he used to play with me on private service, actually. Then there's me again. Then there's me again. All right. But if you look at... Boss damage, I am a bit curious. I wanna see a little bit what the top shamans might be doing. So this is the current all-star points from the parsers. Turon still owning. 
Hukox says, can you share the Feral POV stream? I mean, you can see it uh, when I go to that page. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, I am fifth on Lady Death Whisper. Fuck yeah. Am I anywhere else? Oh, Deathbringer Sourfang, number five. Ponzi GDKP, by the way. I am fourth. I'm nowhere to be found on these bosses. Unlucky, unlucky. And number nine on Ditch King. Not a great look, actually. I need to get into some proper parse runs, I feel. Let's look at Su Ron. He's playing with Whispering Fang Skull. That's all right. Herkumi and Whispering Fang Skull. Nothing too special there. These are these are pretty dank uh, horses. Like this is pretty dank. I oh he doesn't have br beast bracers either. He's not quite there yet. Data driven build guys tier lists. ICC DPS. This is the thing that I saw on Wowhead News uh, today, I think. Our tier lists are updated daily and are based on all data across the last two weeks. We rank specs by multiple different metrics and let you choose which metric to see rankings for. Swap between metrics to see strengths and weaknesses for different specs. The DPS shown in the boxes are the 95th percentile value for that spec. Throughput? Okay, popularity is a useful metric because it includes signal from when the groups bring players due to certain buffs and utility they provide, not just their raw throughput. Okay, that makes sense, that makes sense. However, popularity also includes noise from community bias or whether a spec is particularly fun or easy to play. I mean, true. Look. Ah. Oh no, we're in the same... No. What? Explain! How can you do this? Why? Why did you put elemental above uh, Anha when I when we do more DPS? Throughput. Okay. Oof. Okay, we're back, boys. We're back. We're back in B tier. DPS rankings for ICC. See which classes and specs are most powerful. Okay. 0% popularity. Show more. Let's go from up down. Okay, Fire Mage, super popular, yeah. Red Pala? Survival Hunter, Fury Warrior. I'm a bit surprised to see Survival Hunter be more popular than Fury Warrior. You know what I mean? Like, I am uh, actually. I thought there would be more Fury parses than uh, Hunter parses. Where are all the Hunters, dude? How are there so many Mookin parses? What on earth? Affliction lock, sure. No! Oh my god, there's almost twice the amount of elemental parses as... No! Why? Oh, it's disgusting. And it's worse! It's worse! Look at how many people are playing Elemental Shaman, it's just bad. Why? Please! Look, if you're one of the 206, almost 207,000 players that are playing Elemental Shaman now, please come join us in the Enhancement Shaman Squad. Nobody likes you anyway. Nobody res nobody likes you. Because of Resto Shaman respec, the Resto Shaman should respec to Enhancement Shaman. They shouldn't respect to elemental. It's worse. Assassination rogue. Okay, that's quite the jump though. MM hunter is really low. Okay. All right. What happens if I click on? Yo. Enhancement shaman ICC gear and tier guide. The most popular gear gems consumables. Everything you need a while enhancement shaman building guide. Disclaimer. Okay. Gear set. Okay. I mean, this is true, because the beast doesn't use the gloves. 
And how much are my gear tables? Now, this is pretty cool, actually. This is so bad, though. Wow, so many people have... How many people have... Yo, what? I have DFO and Phylectory. That makes me like a fucking unicorn. Rings? Yeah, yeah. This site is really cool, actually. Nice. Oh, wow. Wow. There's so many shamans using this when it's just worse than this. Like, 50% of the shaman parses are using this. But this is better. Is it just because this is, doesn't cost any money and this costs a lot? Is that is that why? Hmm. Now, this is a bit interesting. My bracers are not even in here. Like, I would love to have Blood Sunder bracers, but I used the... Uh, the cloth bracers from... Uh, I can't remember the name. Oh, we're maybe getting get ready to pull soon. Okay, let me get ready for that, actually. Advanced settings. We get to sometimes use one more data. Yo! This site is pretty cool, actually. Yeah, you see, what? Aethas intensity has the highest DPS? Interesting. When it's just worse. <laughs> oh, that's because he has beasts out. Okay, I can get stuck in this page. This this was a really cool thing. If you want to go check out your class, you can go to uh, Warcraft Logs and click up here on Archon, and then you can click here on Tier List, Raid and Mythic, and you can go check out whatever class you're maining. Pretty cool feature. Okay, let's see. Who's Guys, you have one more minute to vote. Warriors are leading by one vote. If you guys don't decide in 40 seconds, we're gonna go to Warrior POV to watch this, yeah? So it's kind of... Okay, we got another vote on Warrior. Great. Fucking A. B? Hello? I'm about to empty this bottle if my wife doesn't come now. <laughs> Cheers! Looks like the Feral is popping off and got a fuck ton of votes. The guy is a tank, don't watch him. Wait, is this actually what his stream looks like? My man has gameplay as one fourth of his monitor, and then he has himself as the right side. Yo! That is... That is giga chad as fuck, actually. Salute, dude. Solid stash? I mean, he looks great, in my opinion. Luscious hair. Okay, you guys... You guys see the second gaming chair next to him? Look, I am not a det detective. But this immediately makes my spy this... Oh my god. Did you see the fucking production value of this guy? Fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Okay, what do we think about this UI? I've never seen this guy's UI. Healer mana. He has bunch of utility stuff up here. And then you have some healing raid CDs here. You have single target tank CDs here on the right. He's playing on like a... Like, there's something about this guy UI that just fucking screams, I have money. There's just something there, you know? 
Rivalry says good skin, good haircut, solid stash and production deserves the view. Fuck yeah, dude. Good job, you guys who voted for Feral. Straight up owner. Down here we can see his mana in absolute numbers. We have his energy as a number here. His role is down here. That is pretty good, actually. That it says down here which role he has. Can you guys see my mouse on the screen? Uh, on the stream. Otherwise, I'm, I'm gonna have to talk a bit more uh, fluently about it. You can? Okay, perfect. Mm, potions, misdirects, pets are down here. These are just some utility stuff, I think. Damage meter. Alright, missing buffs. I like it, I like it. Good UI. Based. Pretty generic, but the fact that it is generic makes it a nice viewer experience as well, in my opinion. Now, I am gonna share a little bit of an insight with you guys. Down here, you can see he has 29 capped FPS. Let's see if I have any smart people in the chat. How come his FPS is exactly 29 right now? What do you think he's doing? He's tabbed up. There are, there are some absolute Sherlock's in this chat. Right now, they're doing a little bit of a go-through. They are going over maybe last week's run. They're looking at assignments. They are basically prepping themselves for what they want to try and what they're gonna do. So you can see him. I think I'm actually gonna move myself to the other side because I don't wanna block my boy like this. Okay, this might turn out horribly. Wish me luck. Okay, that, that did work out pretty well. I'm happy with that. Yeah, as you can see, down here, he's just super happy, chilling, nodding his head. Uh, since he is a feral DPS, but he's also a tank, he has a very important... You're not blocking the damage meter. You guys are fucking worst. I'm gonna have to move myself around a bit, depending on who got who we're watching. This is a great place for me to be, I feel. Production. Dead center, make yourself bigger. Yeah, that's not that's not a good uh, that's not a bad idea actually. How do I move this anchor next to my raid frames? What the fuck? What anchor do you need, bro? What do you mean? Alright, good UI. I like it. We're definitely gonna be able to enjoy Marogar from this point of view. I think we're gonna be solo tanking Marogar. I don't think any of the fast runs are doing double tank anymore. Ooh, this song is actually blast. You know what, guys? We're gonna send this song again and we're gonna turn up a little bit, get a bit hyped. They are going over the run, they are getting excited, I'm excited to finally get to see my boys from the sidelines. I have been doing speedruns every week with the guild since Wrath came out. This is my
Alright, alright, alright. Let's get serious for a moment here. So, let's see. Has anybody else started streaming? We're gonna start with the Feral POV, of course. Uh, no, nothing here. Nobody knew. Okay, so these are the points of views that we're gonna be watching. Uh, I'm gonna need to bring up a chat cover when we're gonna be watching the Rat Pala. So we're gonna check that out as well and fix that. And again, I'm a bit sorry for all of the guilds that didn't make it into the production value behind me. I know that there are plenty of guilds that are ahead of us right now. Like, uh, shout out to... Let me look up the names just so I get them right. Because there's this time, there's actually a couple of guilds that are going fast, which makes me really happy. Newman, Luna, Floorpov, Potential, Eternal, High Class... Noobs. All of those guilds are going somewhat fast. None of them are going as fast as none of the above, of course, that has the current record on 49.45, I think. That is the timer that Progress is gonna try to beat today. If they don't manage to beat it, they are gonna be very unhappy. Uh, however, getting number two... I think as long as they get a clean run, they are gonna be somewhat happy with themselves because we haven't had... A single clean speedrun yet. Always been disaster putricides, disaster lich kings, horrible councils, very painful. Now, remember, we are gonna get at least 10 more percent of raw damage. Uh, the buff right now is at 20% since yesterday, meaning that. Uh, if you just take Nota's current record and you just add 10% more damage, if their time is 49 minutes, or let's say 50 minutes, if you remove another 10% of that and use raw damage output, well, then you're gonna decrease the time by another 10%. We're down to close to 45 minutes. However, that doesn't make people running faster. It doesn't make it better uh, to transition in between bosses just because you get a bigger buff. But maybe it allows you to play even more DPS. Because the buff doesn't only give you uh, more damage, it also gives the raid more healing. And that makes it so that maybe you can cut one more healer. That's when me, your boy, might be back in action. Because if the buff goes from 20 to 30%, I am putting my money on uh, Enhancement Shamans actually making a comeback. That's what I'm hoping for. Because right now, with the 20% buff, it is looking rough. It's looking rough, my guy. Maybe. Just maybe. And we make it. Alright. We're not quite ready to start yet. Not quite, not quite. Nexer is calling me out for copium. I mean, uh, this isn't that horrible for me. It's not like I am suffering right now, sitting on the sidelines. I'm having a great night. L look at these people. Look at these people right below me right now. You think they're having more fun than I'm doing right now? <laughs> Cheers to that. Fucking mage re-rollers, fucking warriors coming to shine tier 10 type bullshit. They are just re-rolling because it's foot them. I'd rather get benched playing what I like. You have one more minute, place your bets. One more minute. I don't really see a pull timer or anything, which is giving me a little bit of anxiety. Now, the time is 8.30. We know that our run usually takes like an hour, but you need to set it up and stuff. They have one and a half hour more of raid... No, they have two and a half hours of raid time. Fuck, dude, they actually have plenty of time. My bad. They are actually not that much in a hurry. Nexus says, I'm going all in on the second run. 10 more seconds of voting. Moosty says, hello, I'm new here. Do any of your rogues stream their POV? Yes, they do. And we are going to be watching the rogue POV as well tonight. 
if you want to watch the full run, his name is Serenity something. Uh, but we are going to be watching lots of different points of views tonight. I had a vote. People wanted to see the Feral POV first. Here we are, boys. Here we are. But I'm hoping to get all of the boys represented tonight in the stream. Oro725 says 30% enhancer coming back, I believe. I mean, I think so. I really think that a Resto Shaman going elemental is gonna be worse than an enhancement Shaman going Resto for a couple of fights. Alista says, bro, not showing the real Feral POV. Jikes. Alisita, are you part of the Progress Streaming Squad? <laughs> I don't see your name here. Who are you even? Who are you? Fuck. An ad. Oh, it's Stet that's pushing ads. Shameless. Okay, they're importing the MRT notes. Juve says, man's gotta eat. I mean, Stet works. And he lives in Finland. They have like a better social security net than Sweden at this point. He's fine. GCR says, how was the Ruby Sanctum blue drops for today? Uh, not great. I didn't win anything. But my guildy managed to get the Biss Cloak. Guess that's alright. Alright. Man, I'm a bit worried that we still not see... So, down here we see the 29 FPS caps. That means that he's tabbed out, watching. That is not good signs for us. Not a great look. I don't really dare to put on any other content for you guys right now. We're kind of at the mercy of whenever leadership decides to, like, pull the trigger now on this run. Roma says, Ruby Sanctum did drop some good content today, though. Yeah, I think there was a lot of people in my chat that was having a great time. Ponzi was not one of them. Kevin says, watching 30 second boss guides for ICC. I mean, to give some insight, usually what we do right now before we pull is that the officers or one leader uh, is streaming their point of view on Discord from a previous speedrun and showing this is what we did wrong, this is what we want to do better, uh, Anfal, here you interrupted the, this, ca this mob queue, do this instead. So we don't really have an assignment sheet. We more so sit before the run and make the assignments before the run. So you know how people say, oh, you should have looked at the sheet. We double check and cross check and vote review before sending a fast run. Um, so I would imagine that's what they're doing right now, since uh, Okbul is uh, capped at 29 FPS, that means that he's tabbed out. I would imagine that's what we're witnessing. Alright, alright, alright. How is my voice related to the volume of the music? Is it okay? Is either one of them... Like, should go up, should go down, is it fine? It's alright? Nice, nice. You know what I am starting to get worried about? I am worried that they're gonna have this long ass... What do you call it? Like a briefing before you go out on a military attack or whatever? They call it something. I, don't, I can't remember the name. And after they're done with the briefing, they are just gonna take a... Uh, like a five minute break for people to go to the toilet and stuff. And we are gonna be here like, Huh? What do you mean a five minute break? We've been here on break. We're ready to blast. But the players are probably not ready to blast. They need to like, take a break. Uh, so that, I just want to mentally prepare you guys that the run is maybe not that close. As it may seem, might be a bit further away. We can quickly just look at the comp right here. They're playing Triple Hunter. What? Is there anybody else playing Triple Hunter in the current top? Huh? 
two, two, three, two, three. Okay. There's actually quite a lot of them. Not bad. Not bad. Is it three survival hunters? Yes, I think the blood decay is gonna be playing. Okay, look. I think it's gonna be playing like it's very close to this comp, right? One, two, three, four mages, five mages. One, two, three, four, five, three, three. One, one two, three, four ferals. Four ferals. Two rats. Do we have two rats? One rat. Two palas only. So this is like might kings. Only two paladins. It's a bit saucy, yeah. Saucy Baka gameplay. Is that a frost decay? No. That is a unholy decay, and that is the blood decay that is tanky. Right. Kevin says, Thames was the prot pala DPSing on solo tanking bosses. Yeah, we are not using a prot pala. We're using only one ret and one holy pala. At least that's what I'm getting from this. Discipline Priest, Shadow Priest, Resto Elemental Flex. Yeah, you see the three healers mana up here. Yup, yup, yup. Nothing special. Nothing too special. Let's just quickly look at the other people's UIs. Serenity UI looking clean as always. Looks great. Cooldowns up here to the left. Yeah, this looks great. We can enjoy this. Uji. Looks fine. Very grey. Very, very grey. Isn't it? One of the druids goes bare if you need a second tank. Uh, yeah, this guy that we're watching right now, he's probably gonna be flexing between uh, bare tanking and feral DPS. That's what I would imagine. Having a paladin tank is pretty nice for a fight like uh, Dreamwalker, because Holy Paladin is the strongest healer on that fight. And if you have a prot paladin uh, at any capacity, he can go holy. Ooh, is that the ready check? That is the ready check, boys. Oi! Please don't tell me that's the ready check for the AFK. Please tell me that's the ready check for pulling. Please, please, please. I really believe this is gonna be the pull. It was a pretty big, some really big whales in the betting scene today. We had 96,000 channel points on first run being the fastest, and we had 115,000 points on the second run being the fastest. I mean, I think. We've usually always gone the fastest on the second run, but there's also been many weeks where we have completely pepegad. And I think gear-wise, both of the runs are pretty much equal, and I think they run the exact same comp. Now, if I look at the comp right here, I really think as an enhancement shaman, there's only one spot we fight for, and that is the shaman spot. As an Enhancement Shaman, I need to reliably be better than the Elemental Resto Shaman at the top left. Sidale says, any cool strats for speedruns? I don't think that there's any cool strats right now. It's mostly just going fast, pulling fast. It's just go fast runs. I don't think that there's any insane stuff. Soma says, there timer? Yeah, there is a pull timer. We have a pull timer. That means that it's time for me to put on the ICC race playlist. You guys know this. I am not gonna keep it loud the entire time. I'm gonna lower it when we pull. But this is like part of the ritual for me.
When this song comes on, you know it's speedrun, dude. lower the music a little bit. I'm already shouting here at home. I don't want to push my luck. Right off the bat, we're seeing a bunch of numbers flying all over the screen like holy fuck. I didn't know this is what it looks like to play a feral, but there's so many fucking numbers, dude. Please get condensed. Do you, do you guys know that functional scrolling combat type shit that I have that like condenses numbers? Please get that, bull. The boss is fucking melting. It's at 50%. 48, like it is, this boss is getting completely shat on. I don't know if this is much faster than anybody else, but this is the first time the progress goes in with 20% damage buff and it's looking nasty. We're gonna get the first bone storm being cast here. Let's see how it goes. This is actually one of the most important bosses because if this pull goes bad, they are gonna try to reset. But now it's becoming tricky to reset. Feral leap, so he can still rocket boots to get the head on the next build. We got spikes coming in. He's switching to swipe. Nice swipe, nice swipe. Sticking on the boss. Nobody's dead yet. Boss is at 10%. Can he deal with the next set of, set of spikes? I think as long as the Holy Paladin doesn't get netted here, it's gonna be fine. Mages have been pumping. Oh my god, please don't lose people here. Please don't lose people. It's so punishing. Nice, nice, nice. This is usually when you want to rocket boots to pull on a head. We're gonna switch POVs right here. We're gonna go to Rogue POE. Bit worse quality, but what can you do? The guy he lives in Norway, it's a fucking third world country. There's not a lot he can do about it. Okay, it sorted itself out. Rogue is a bit behind here, that's unfortunate. But they have triple misdirect. I have never seen a triple hunter in any previous tier. This is the first time that I see it. I do think that hunters have been extremely powerful. Oh, the tank is dead! The main tank dies, we see an AoE taunt coming out from one of the ferals with a bop. They stabilize, the tank is back. While she can get buffed back, she will not have her food buff. I believe when we looked at the Nota speedrun, they had something similar happen to their tank. She will be able to get her food buff back when it's time to go to Deathbringer Sarfang. But before then, it's gonna be very hard because she's part of the people that are going to start the gunship early. Ads coming in from the side. Any interrupt you can do on these uh, cur curses. Let's see, one went through. I think two went through, that's a shame. If you can interrupt those curses, that means you have one less D curse global that another DPS player has to do. So for example, if you're an enhancement shaman, you want to focus interrupt these curses to allow your DPS to pump on this stage. Okay, the boss is gonna become active soon, I think. Phase two, they're kind of holding off. We lost someone, we lost a feral. We have tons of combat dresses still. We have three available at the top left. You can see it for yourself. Pushing, pushing, pushing. I think the biggest mistake they can do here is being greedy with the damage. Staying in and exploding more than one ghost. One ghost, completely fine. Two ghosts, gonna fall behind greatly. Rogue is playing very conservatively, going in and out. The rogue player knows that his damage is not gonna make or break the run. He just can't afford to die. If he dies, he's gonna be one combat rest that he can't use on one of the stronger players, so to speak. He still have two combat rests available. He dies to AoE. He gets combat rest. Taking his up two ghosts in melee spawning on the left side. Should be completely fine, should be completely fine. Run, 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 run. Good shit, good shit. He's still missing kings and might. I would say, in general, the best global you can do as a paladin is to rebuff people who die in terms of DPS. The extra DPS that they will be able to make by getting an improved might on them is worth more than you pressing judgment, so to speak. Of course, there's always going to be a time window where this isn't true, but in this case, 100% giving him might would have been the correct thing to do to kill this boss faster. We still have one combat dress available, and now all of them are going to reset. We're going to head over to another PoE right now. Dodging ghosts. We're going to go warrior PoE next. Gate is open. Now, what they're going to be doing is that there's going to be four people running ahead to the gunship. You see them mounting up, they're sprinting ahead. Plenty of people going ahead, a lot of people going ahead. 
to get their rocket packs and start the gunship. And they're saving some people behind to clear. They're using MDs to try to get these mobs to gather up like this. There's a lot of debate whether this is actually worth it or not, if it's just better to kill the first pack than kill the second, because you are waiting to get teleported regardless. Would it just be better to just clear it off safely, or do you do this type of drag strat? You see here behind how one of the mobs still isn't dead. And everybody's back up. Down at your bottom right, you can see the total damage done overall. And I would say that none of that damage has been padding, it's just been important quality damage. Now we have his uh, box inventory showing instead, which is a bit sad. Nice, nice. I respect it. So the boss is becoming active in 5 seconds. They should get teleported here and then run over the wing to the right to attack the sorcerer. Everybody's mounted. You don't really care if you AM uh, Crusader aura here or not. Tank picks up the boss and then you engage the sorcerer. Now, sorcerer has spawned. Very good timing. They are able to engage hard. The hard part about this fight, because there is actually two things that separate people that are fast on this fight and not. The number one thing is that the people that play in the cannons need to be really good at what they're doing. And you could be like, what the fuck do you mean, Alpha? It's just 1, 1, 1, 2 or whatever. But there are actually ways to do it more DPS on the cannons. I'm not gonna go exactly and try to explain how, because I don't really understand it myself. But the cannon people in my guild spend a lot of time trying to do more DPS than normal. Let's see here. You should have the second sorcerer coming up right here. Engaging, looks great. Pushing, pushing, pushing. Uh, at the top right, you can see some sort of timer. I doubt that that timer is comparing to the world record. I would much more imagine it's comparing to a previous personal best by this player. Let's see. Flair is saying, is this Anguro Poison that I see? Yeah, some of the players are using Anguro Poison for sure. There it goes. There it dies. Jumping over for the last time. Now, if you find yourself not having a rocket pack and doing this fight, there are two ways that you can get back to the mothership. The number one easy way is just click the fucking portal. The second easiest thing is to take, just jump off and you get TP'd. Now, this is when the tank of the guild should be able to get her stuff back. Uh, tank POV, not super interesting for this one, I would say. I would say we actually probably play the warrior POV for Sarfang. Thought you could only use the poison once. No, you see it in his bags. He doesn't have it. Like, he's not using it right now. It's just in his bags. Alright, we have one and a half minutes before the actual pool starts. Usually what you do during this wait time is just try to calm everybody down. So far, it's been a very good run. Very clean. I think this is gonna be a PB for the guild. They don't really... It's probably not gonna be enough to get rank 1. But it's definitely gonna push the personal best of the guild. So, if they just relax now, they can get a probably a top 3 finish. However, I think there's plenty of people here that want to push, push, push. They very, very much would like to beat Nota, even though we're super far behind right now. So I think there's a high chance that we're going to see personal mistakes happen, where people are just tunneling too much on their own job. This boss really doesn't have any random number generated element to it. There's nothing on this boss that can make you wipe. Uh, this boss is probably one of the bosses that became the easiest once you have enough gear, and once the buff is strong enough. It just falls apart. So let's just sit back, enjoy the pump. You can see the damage done overall at the bottom right, and you can see the top three classes are hunters. Pretty interesting in my opinion, pretty interesting. And we are live, let's go. Pushing, pushing, pushing. 
Now, there's a few different ways to deal with the beasts that spawn in the current state of the game. One, you can have ranged DPS just pump them and get aggro on them. And two, you can actually let people um, just pull aggro. And you can have your tanks off tank them as well. Okay, sending some good damage onto these adds. They're not dying that fast though. Let's see if they lose anyone here. Seems like they're going for the ranged DPS, just getting them onto them. Looks fine. Uh, you probably noticed that there's a couple of random buffs on some of these players. Uh, the first notable one is this. This is the first week that the entire guild is using uh, Sansa. However, there are some classes that don't need to use the Sansa. The Sansa provides you, I think, with 20% passive movement speed. And classes like mages, probably something else, don't really need it. But as a warrior, you can see him opt for using it like this. Uh, Flare TV has said that uh, this warrior is really sending it. And I agree, he really is. But I also think it's because he has more than this warrior. You have to remember, this is not, this is not his main. Many of the people in progress have fully bisqueered characters, maybe two or three of them. So maybe he has decided that fuck it, I'm just gonna send it here. I know that this player in particular also has, a, has more than one mage. So maybe he's planning to play mage in the future, I don't know, I'm not really leadership. Oh yo yo, here we have a guy clicking on loot, that he, loot to pick up. Rogue POV? 2-3 characters that are full bis. Yeah, so the way that the progress infrastructure has worked in ICC is that we've been doing between... I would like to say 4 and 6 ICCs per week. And we've also sent plenty of people to GDKPs uh, to buy bis gear. So if you take a player like myself, I have gotten fully bis from the guild runs. And I have two shamans that are almost full bis from GDKPs. The reason why two of my shamans aren't fully bis yet is because the guild hasn't really prioritized gear on a shaman from GDKPs. But then you have people that play mages and their alts have gotten uh, guild sponsorship. So that they basically have way more money to spend on gear. So they've gotten one character geared through splits and one or two geared from GDKPs. Alright, this pull is a bit scary, it's probably one of the harder trash pulls that we have right now. But they seem to be doing it really well. Looks good, actually. At your bottom right, you can see the overall damage done, and again, it's Hunter, Hunter, Feral, Hunter, Warrior. However, that number might be a bit inflated by Gunship, which is dead damage. Alright, this is stuttering like mad. Oh, let's see how OC Bull is looking. Alright, so right now what you usually do is that you have people respecking for Valithria Dreamwalker. So you can see the healer mana going up here, everybody's drinking. But there's also people that are just respecting into healer, but they don't show up because they haven't marked themselves as healers yet. Basic number says, Hunter doing sick overall damage is probably down to sustained AoE, which makes them kings of trash. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, the current top 10, only two guilds have used triple Hunter. Progress is the third guild that's doing it. Golan says, I'm curious about wing order also. Yeah, I don't really know why different guilds decide to go for different wing orders, but we saw that in... Uh, I think it was tier 7 as well that different guilds have different ideas about which order that would be the fastest. Now, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to be like, of course there has to be an answer. Of course there has to be one path that is just faster than the others. There's a correct answer to this. But it seems like even the top guilds don't really disagree, uh, agree 100% on what would be the fastest way to play. I, I'm not really gonna explain why we do what we do. I can just explain as it's happening. Algelon last, Chad, yeah. Great, Krakia says, we'll be curious if Hunter stacks, takes bots from mages, stack at 
Yeah, it's gonna be very interesting, isn't it? Uh, it's gonna be fun to look at uh, damage done during the transitions uh, during uh, the Lich King uh, for this split. If, I mean, if mages end up losing to hunters on overall damage and you can make the push on Lich King, then hunters are just a better class to bring. Why? Because hunters provide misdirect, they are inherently safer, they have a lot more utility than a mage. So if mages can't reliably beat the hunter, there's no reason to bring a mage. Dolan says, it's easier to maintain mage debuffs on Ditch King over hunter though. Yeah, for sure. That's why it matters. To the right here, you can see uh, the different stacks on the players. You have a couple of people on 7, a couple of people on 6, and a couple of people on 3. Now, there's a lot of these healers that uh, don't have healing gear in this split. You know how I said that we sent people to GDGPs and stuff? Well, that's usually been to gear their main spec. But on Valithria, you actually need to have good off-spec gear as well. Oh, I think these two people... No, he managed to get a refill, that's nice. Okay, they've all stacked up. Now, it's very important that if you're playing Valithria Dreamwalker, and let's say you are one of the Pepeyas, like... I don't know exactly who, but you're, if you are one of the Pepeyas, you don't want to end up taking stacks from your main healers and your Holy Palas. You, you just don't want to end up doing that. Pretty sure they're going to be pushing here. It's very important that these suppressors don't reach. Nice, nice, nice. Nice pickup. Let me see, actually, if I can get Alicitad um, uh, point of view as well. No, I cannot. I cannot. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Thought maybe he was streaming, but turns out I was uh, being led astray. Let's go Hunter POV. Man. Fuck the Hunter POV, am I right, boys? Rogue POV. Let's see. Why is he inspecting people all of a sudden? That's not... Oi, 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 oi. Oi, oi, oi. Attack? Fight it. It has to die. There's no reason to... Oh my god. People are not really paying attention. Okay, they fucked up the pull down here. Usually you want these stacked up with an immunity so you can AOE all of them down really fast. This is probably gonna cost them a couple of seconds actually. You might think this isn't a big deal, but I would say at least 5 seconds was lost right there. And 5 seconds gain on a boss fight can be really hard. But 5 seconds gained on trash can be easily lost, just what happened here. Alright, alright, alright. Snoozer says, being a hunter ain't cheap. Gotta get the money somehow. Yeah, I guess so. Sadly, it only means that we're gonna end up skipping his point of view. But, to be honest, if you wanna go watch that point of view, he has a great stream. Uh, there's always people there. Uh, so, it's pretty nice, actually, to be showcasing some of these smaller streamers of the guild as well. Good players all around. If we take Serenity, for instance, that we're watching right now, me and Serenity joined the guild at around the same time, I would say. And uh, yeah, we've been playing together in races to world first and speedruns ever since. He's always been part of the roster and so have I, until today, that is. Okay, let's look at OC Bull. You wanna see some swiping, boys? Oh yeah, mm, yeah. Mmm, mmm! Make it rain, dude. Holy! Oh no, there's something... No, there's a mob there on the side that didn't get uh, killed with the swipe bomb. Unfortunate. Okay, he has a weak aura screaming druid buffs. I guess that's a weak aura detecting that somebody's missing gift of the wild. I really think it's... Oh, nice transition into bear form into picking up. Nice. 
Nice. All right, this trash, nothing too special. I think it's hard to wipe here. Oh, Hunter accidentally pulling aggro, unlucky. Okay, it's on the DK now. Fear comes out. No Tremor Totem for melee group. No Tremor Totem for melee group. Please unbench, unfall, unbench, unfall. Everybody's back. They're hitting the boss. Warriors and Hunters are just blasting. I have to say, so far, mages kind of getting shit on. Like, I know mages, they get all the money, they get all the love in the world, they get five spots because they can hit Lich King. Where are they now? But at the same time, I'm pretty sure that this uh, boss right here is one of the better mage fights. Mako says, why is blue DK benched? Uh, it's because uh, the class is really bad right now. You need to have uh, Resto Shaman on many of the fights and... Uh, I don't have the gear for it. Only says you picked the bl wrong blue class. Ah, I'm pretty sure I picked the correct blue class. Look at the damage down meter. Where are your boys, dude? Oh fuck, there it is. Get I, get that get that pink names, get that teal names off the damage meter. Disgusting. <laughs> I hate them. Disgusting gameplay. They have done nothing to deserve their spot. Dogs. All of them. Oh my god, it's a wipe. A guy got pulled in and exploded. Was it a mage? Was it a fucking mage? Did a mage just ruin the run? Okay, let's see. Uh, combat rest is going out. Mm. Two more combat rests. Oh my god. Okay, they're fine. The, this Holy Pala needs to be freed fast as fuck though. If he dies, I guess they can still combat rest, but this is a very, very dangerous pull. No! Are they, they're not seeing it! Oh my god, they lived! They didn't see it! They were so lucky! Did you guys see that? They were standing right on top of it. Oh my god, this is a disaster, Sindragosa. This is the worst. Okay, okay, we lost the Holy Pala. You need to bring him up. Avoid... You need to rest fussy. You need to rest fussy. Or it's fucking over. He's the only Holy Pala. Avoid. You need to rest fussy. Okay, he's coming. Take the rest. What are you waiting for? Okay, he's back. Pumping. Oh my god, this is disaster. The boss is at 48%. And we have already lost them. Oh my god, this is so... This is horrible. Okay, the mage almost dies as well. He waited for Unchained like a Giga Chad. Yeah, I mean, Fussy is big brain and everything, but uh, I'm stressed the fuck out, dude. I trust my boys to play well, and then I have fucking disaster uh, Hamas, the Hamas explosions in the raid. Fucking unbench me already. Bring, put me in, coach. Put me in, fuck in. Okay, I think we're back. Phase two. Please don't be a holy pala now. Okay, mage getting the block. This is good. If the mage gets the block, he can't explode and wipe us. Please, please be another mage. Okay, that's fine. Boss is at 18%. I mean, I don't think the run is over here, but the, the rank... I would say top 3 is fucking done. Okay, everybody's getting fucking obliterated. We have used double healing him. We still have AM Frost. Fussy could send AM Frost. We lost two more mages here. Oh my god, 10%. Okay, this rocket boost. They're gonna do a tank swap now. That was clutch, dude. Okay, no, no. She screams, I'm gonna take it. Go back, go the fuck back. This was disaster again. I thought they were doing a tank swap, but turns out there was miscommunication between uh, the tanks. Unfortunate. It, I think they've stabilized. I think it's okay. Boss is gonna die. They're gonna combat rest all four. Hopefully they... Oh, fuck. They lost another one. Okay. I think they have communicated who is resting what. Everybody's getting rest. Okay. Nice recovery, but the run is pretty much over.
Now it's about just ending it strongly, I think. Oi, 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 oi. Disaster pull, disaster pull. I mean, one of the biggest reasons why Blue DK is being banished right now, boys, is because our my class is so fucking bad on Sivragosa. Like, I will hit the boss and do, like, bottom DPS and kill myself. Because of, I get so many stacks. It is by far the worst fight in this entire instance for me. I'm doing no fucking DPS and I'm killing myself. Great, great fight, dude. B? Hello? Or for me? Cheers! And, uh... Uh, a bit more, I think. Alright, this trash, super uninteresting. Uh, sure. It's wicked for man. Okay. Uh, now, this section right here is actually our worst section in the game. Now, this Colossus can do a stomp that does flat damage. The dogs have a decimate. Basically... You you would love to pull all of the dogs with the giant and AoE all of them down at the same time because that's the fastest way. But they patrol a bit inconsistently. Uh, it's a bit hard to know where they're going. Uh, you don't want them to overlap their shit so you can't top people, especially with the giant. This is fine, but I sadly think that this was a slow pull again. Now, we do know that Nota killed too many of the Vengeful Reapers in their run. And the only way- Oh, this is bad! 0% paints up dead. No Soul Stone. Except, excepting his back, we are down one mage. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 combat dresses. This is progress worst section. We lost another DK. Yeah, we really need to work on this section. This is not great. This looks very shaky. Why are they not combat dressing? Send the resses. You're gonna get new resses when the fucking rot face dies. Oh. <laughs> oh, my heart cannot take it. Oh, that, that, that makes me shake. That makes me stat shake in real life, bro. There we go. Wait. Are those people outside? Am I seeing two people locked outside of the gate? Is that a guy on the outside? Who is that? It has to be some of these guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. A circle. Oh my god, the hunter is on the outside. But it, it looks like it's maybe even more... It looks like two! It looks like two people, dude! How? <laughs> oh, okay, one of them got rest. So maybe there was some confusion related to that, but... Wow! Monka steer as fuck, dude! Okay, th they're losing... 10 plus seconds on this pull. 10 plus. The pull itself is fine. I mean, this is one of the most straightforward bosses in the game. I think Rotface is the type of... What? Did the boss target the people outside? And that made him, like, despawn? A boss sent an ooze outside and these bo- I can't. Honestly, we fucking deserve it. We deserve it. You know what, Rotface? I feel the same way as you did. Nah, fuck progress, dude. They have two people outside. Fuck this run. If I was Rotface, I would also kill the run right there. I would be like, nah, bruh. I'm one of the easiest bosses in here. You disrespect my domain. You come to my fucking plague quarter 
and you don't even enter my room. Fuck that shit, I'm gonna ruin your run. God fucking damn it, dude. Uh, all I'm saying, uh, an enhancement shaman would have made it inside. I would have been there, I would have been inside. Progress leadership, call me. Like, I'm right here, dude. If you need me for second run, I'm right here. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, wh what did that cost us? Like, two, three minutes? Two minutes, maybe? Yeah, I would say maybe two minutes tops. So, let's say this was a new world record. Now, we're not gonna finish until like 51 minutes. Unfortunate, unfortunate. I have to say, some of this stuff on this UI looks pretty neat, though. You are down like three minutes from Rotface and Syndra. Wait, we've lost three minutes on that section alone? Oi, 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 oi. Boina, boina. Let's go, warrior POV. I need to watch some whirlwinding and cleaving. Oh, okay, so... The timer up there? Is it there? Yeah. It's not compared to the world record, obviously. This isn't a low 40 minute run. But you can see the sections there where we were like getting ahead, getting ahead, getting ahead. So far ahead of our PB, actually. But then we lost like almost two minutes of between Valithria and Sindragosa. And I can tell you, we've lost more now. Let's see when he dies here. I wouldn't surprise to see this go down to like three minutes now. Fucking sad, bro. Uh, I mean, that, that's not too bad. How bad were we the last time? What the fuck? Whatever. Whatever, dude. This timer makes no ab absolutely no sense. Let me see if Stat does the timer. I think this is comparing to the world record. Or... Stat, please! The timer's supposed to be off. Our run was 54 minutes. We were a minute ahead at this point. Yeah, I have no, I have no idea. Same route? I have no idea. I, I think we can make up for the minute though, but I sadly think that there's a couple of people now that are... The boss wasn't there as well. What is this demon run? Do you guys see that? The boss wasn't even spawned when they entered Festergut room. Oi, 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 oi. Boina, boina. Just log out. Does anybody even need loot from ICC in this run? If we don't, just log out. Like, logging out mid-speed run would be the biggest... ...cock slam. Just showing everyone that you don't give a fuck is also sending a message, I think. Dynamic damage done overall. Hunter, warrior, warrior. Oh, there is some mage now. They really got help from Syndragosa, didn't they? Perf stone during Lich King roleplay like a Chad. Yeah, honestly, pretty much that. Well, that kind of killed my vibe. I was fucking zooming and grooving. But then they had this disaster Syndragosa into disaster Dogos, into disaster Rotface despawn, into disaster Festergot not being in his fucking quarters. Oi, oi, oi. Next run is definitely gonna be it, boys. Next run is definitely the run. This, this sure as shit ain't it. Yeah, the people that put all of their points into the second run are fucking, yeah. DJ Khaled uh, rubbing their hands right now. Oh. Well, what an anticlimactic end to the first run. 
hopefully we can see some really clean putricide right now. I think putricide is probably one of the most fun fights that we have in a speedrun. I was kind of selling Rotface and Festergalt as complete fucking walk and pushovers, but I mean they did pretty much lose the run at those two, so maybe I shouldn't assume that those are free as fuck. But putricide is hella fun. Because the way that we do Putricide now is that we ignore the blobs on the last spawn. So in the last phase, everybody used nukes Putricide. Oh my god, did they not click the vaults? Okay, they did. Thank fuck. I have no faith anymore. I am stressed the fuck out. I just assume they're missing shit all the time. Uh, but yeah, Putricide, we ignore the blobs on the second transition. Instead, what we do is that we just push the boss. That means that if you get targeted by the green blob, people will run away from you. People want you to die alone and get combat rest. Because knocking people away is a DPS loss, if you, know, if you understand what I mean. And if you get targeted by the orange, then you just need to run it. Just fucking run it down mid, just kite that shit and hopefully it dies until then. Uh, I mean, the putricide dies before that. Is it hot? I think it's hot from here. Alright, can we get the gate opening now, maybe? This song is such a blast song, dude. Sorry, I'm gonna turn up a bit. This part just builds up so good. Fucking vibe. is getting kited into melee perfectly. Green is also getting kited really well. Melee kind of swapping to it. I'm not sure about that swap. Boom. It's fine. Should have get knocked more towards the table, I think. Bit of a mistake, bit of a mistake. Nice, clean. Let's go. Hope everybody's having a great evening, dude. Ideally, they would like to push right now. Mm, I think they're gonna get this form. Doesn't look great. That does a spawn. Come on, come on. The Lee hard swapping, this is quite a big DPS boss actually. I don't like it, don't like it. Ah, oh, I lost two people to Malibu, fucking goo? Oh my god, and the last MBD is running. This is such bad. This is so bad. Rocket boots in. This is this this is disaster putricide. Okay, green guy should die. Okay, three people die. Why do three people die? One guy should die. Oh my god, this is gonna get shared now, but they should leave him, go to the other leg and let him Oh my god, they're fucking it up so badly. Okay, what now? Okay, let that guy die. Leave him. He's a shadow freak. Oh my god, the monkey went flying as well. Holy fucking shit. Melee again, explosion like this. Oh my god, I can't. My heart. My fucking heart, dude. God fucking damn it, it's not that hard. Stand on the right fucking leg. If you get targeted by the green, all melee, go to the fucking left leg. Let that guy die. If you get chased by the orange, you run. If the shadow priest get targeted by the green, you don't go and soak with him. You let him fucking uh, disperse. Yeah, I can't. Four people dead. Let's use our combat dresses. It's not like we're gonna need them in the next upcoming fight. So the next section is a bit tricky, trash. It's a bit tricky. So the way you do this trash is that you go fast, 
and then you are sending AoE taunt after AoE taunt. Now, there's plenty of people that can die when you're running in to do the actual pull. Do we have a timer here? Nah. Timer? Alright, 39. Let's say that. Uh, like, fuck the minuses, they are all. What's up with Finnish people trying to be become an esports person? Relax? Come on. Okay. We're back. We're back. You need a rogue pov here, I beg you. Okay, 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 okay. Apparently this is the only pull that people really want to see the rogue gameplay. And since I am a man of the people now that I'm sitting on the bench with the rest of you, I I hear you and I want to give it to you. Oh my god, kill the mobs. What's happening? Okay, he's showing his gear. Flexing on the haters. Let's see here. Mouse over, misdirect. Gathering the mobs. Take it, fucking take it. Rocket boot, TBC rocket boots. Did he swap off? I don't know, I hope. Spinning, spinning, down here at the right, we see 77, 84, 89, 94, 97, 100k DPS! My wife wants me to look at my phone. Alright, alright, alright. And I think that is it. 120 plus. Now I finally get to switch off. Warrior POV, baby. It's been a while. Okay, let's see here. What do we have? I think these are the new boss frames they uh, enabled, right? Okay, let's see who gets... No. Ooh, ooh! Anyway, they still have combat dresses ready. Ooh, does he track it anywhere? Okay, they rest one guy. No, did they use all the combat dresses because of the putricide dis uh, disaster? No, they have one, but he's tanking, I guess. So what you want to do now, if you're tanking, you want to call for pain sup and you want to cast the rest. Like right now, you should call for pain sup, which uh, is on cooldown, that's unfortunate. You can bop AoE taunt into leaving form into combat dressing. Does that work? Or does the co uh, AoE taunt fade if you leave form? Can any anybody here tell me if that works? I need to know. Fuck. Okay, so it seems a bit hard to be getting back up. You can leave form for combat dress with AoE taunt running. If that's the case, then you do a bop AoE taunt combat dress swap back. Clean with it. Okay, Tal Haram is getting focused. It would be so nice if he could use his combat dress before they get a refresh of the combat dress. Oh my god, no! That's a bomb going off! People are so tilted, I can already- I can hear leadership screaming in my ears how disappointed they are. I can hear my dad in my ears being disappointed through my leadership's voice, dude. Please don't be an ad right now. Just let me watch Hunter gameplay for a little bit. Why are mages on top of the... I, I don't know, man. It's fucking bullshit, dude. If you look at the total damage done, mages have made a strong comeback ever since Indragosa, sadly. But, to be fair, mages are super good on fights like Putricide, because if you get targeted, you ice blocking basically nets so much raid DPS. So the... I guess a Fane could do the same, but not quite. Okay, if you look at the total damage done, which of the three hunters do you guys think got locked outside on Rotface? 
and we're gonna be back after the commercial break. I'm not gonna call him out. I just want people to be like, ah, kind of, kind of get a vibe for it. Let's see here. Pushing boss damage. They have four combat dresses ready. That looks great. Innervates all are on CD. Also good. That means that it's getting used. This time is such a disaster run. But if you look at the timer between Professor Putricide and Blood Council... There's no way... I guess it's the route, maybe? There's no way they gain that much time on their world record, is it? That has to do with the route. Whatever. Well, the Feral is obviously pushing a lot of damage with the Bite. Nothing special there. Sadly, he can't do shit when the boss is flying in the air. I guess you can have a lot of bleeds up. But you can, you're gonna see him fall down a little bit afterwards. Let's see here. Yeah. I mean, I was hoping that by the time this song came on, we were gonna have a super clean run. And we would just be fucking jamming with the boys. But it really hasn't been that type of run, actually. So we're gonna skip that song. I was hoping by the time that song came on, we were always gonna be Sigma male owners, but instead we're kind of Beta Omega chads. So it hasn't been a great run. Boss at 40%, she still hasn't flown up into the air. That is pretty good pump. I can't barely figure out where the DBM- does he have a DBM timer? Oh, down there by his name. Okay, now it's happening. Now I get it, I get it. I had to look for a bit. People running in fear, just like I wanted to do when the fucking rot face disaster happened. Hum. Yeah, Feral seems like overall a pretty safe bite target for this fight. Not that that is any incredible insight that you guys are here to listen to, but that link though... Why make it easy? I love how Stet just plants himself and he's like, you guys fucking move. L look at, where, look at what, how he's moving right now. He's just like, I, I, I'm not gonna go to the sides. I ran to the center to drop the link. Now I'm here. Now you guys fucking deal with it. And he's just pushing people out. This that, that is how you become a liked player, by the way. To be fair, I don't think a single one of the players that we have been watching has been the reason for any of the disasters. I don't think OC Bull, I don't think uh, Oog, Serenity, none of them have been the reason why this is a painful run. Minus 21 minutes. I'm kind of worried for Oog. What type of run did he have? That has to be like a GDKP disaster run. Victims, us. this is the first run. This is the first run. So we have uh, a really good chance at improving here. We started off great in this run. But... We had a complete disaster gauntlet. We had a really bad spider room. We had Disaster Syndragosa, we had a really bad dog, dog room, we had a Disaster Rotface, Disaster Festergut, Disaster Putricide, Disaster uh, Council, pretty good Blood Queen I would say, Blood Queen was fine, I don't think that there's a lot to improve on the Blood Queen pool. Now all we need to sprinkle on top of this little clean run now would be like a defile uh, in the last phase. If I could get a defile just dropping and wiping us when the boss is at like maybe 26% or something, that would just be the fucking peak of this cursed run. Kia Skaria says, is this the bench stream? Yeah Kia, you and me bro. It's not an easy life being an officer of progress and getting benched. Just like it isn't fun being the fucking comedian of progress and getting benched either. 
they lack one officer and they lack one funny guy in the raid. See what happens? Total disaster. If we just quickly glance over at the bottom right, you can see the damage done overall. You have Feral, Hunter, Hunter, Warrior, one mage that seems to have out the damaged other mages by quite a bit. Then you have another Feral. I would assume that the big difference between Feral number one and two is probably gonna be... Um, it's not called Hysteria anymore, is it? It has a more politically correct name. What is it? Like... Cy cyclic damage Unholy Frenzy Unholy Frenzy and Then you have Devil M4 Mage Mage Warrior Okay Robert Falfa says They lack Old Man Fiancy Yeah They lack the old people overall dude They lack me Fiancy And Kia dude We are like the backbone it's the young Zoomers, actually, that are causing uh, stress to the guild right now. Bochi says the top fell uh, got first bite. True. True. That's why you are a hired expert analysis at the Anfall shoutcasting desk. Because of incredible in insight like that. Oh my god, nobody chased after! Rocket boots the fuck after the boss. Go on the boss, get a couple of damages in, and then get back. I'm so tired of seeing melee players that are... So, such cucks and don't believe in themselves just get up there get a couple of hits in and get the fuck out like just a little bit of damage would mean a lot because right now you're seeing these mages pushing these hunters are pushing blah 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 40 yard damage classes get a free spot whatever but as an enhancement shaman i would have rocket booted the fuck after that boss chasing him to the center and being like and then run the fuck off. Maybe doing total 40k damage, but it's about sending a fucking message to the Lich King as well. You are not getting away from me. Singy Mir says, isn't that how you die two, three times in the same pull? I wouldn't say in the same pull that I die the sa uh, same way two, three times. Of course, there's a risk and it's not easy, but I mean, we don't play because it's fucking easy. We play to be number one, don't we? If you fail, you learn. The run is over anyway, might as well push the boundaries a little bit. If you're ahead now by 15 seconds, maybe don't consider. But if you're behind after such disasters, just fucking send it, dude. Clip that shit, send it on your beef bar resume, I don't care. Pushing damage on the Valkyries right there. Seiko pulling threat. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys one thing. We, you want the mages to pull threat because if the if the mages pull threat during transition and the tank just taunts off the threat, that is actually a big threat lead for the tank. We want the mages to over aggro. Is that beating the mages right now? It's probably just padding. So almost as he died. No, he didn't. I refuse. He didn't die, he over aggroed the boss and the tank taunted, just like we talked about. That's what happened. I refuse, it doesn't matter what you say, what I described is what happened. You think you saw that, but actually what happens is what we said, like what we planned for happening. Okay? Wait, is that a Valkyrie? No, okay, I thought it was a Valkyrie going straight to, I don't know, fucking Madeira or something. Okay, only two Valks grabbed. 40% pushing. Pretty fine, pretty fine. Oh, oh, oh! Hit, hit that boss, hit that shit! Okay. Hello. Fine? I, I would say fine. Where we have all but destroyed each other. Okay. Yeah. I think that is actually a better rocket boot in a way, because this damage that he did during transition there is actually more important than the damage that I was talking about earlier. I, I arrest my case. I think that was correct. Did you need rocket boots to do it though? I'm not so sure, but fuck it. Uh, I think that's correct. Okay, let's see, he's pushing. Oh my god, the song is building up. This song is such a banger, dude. Sorry guys, we're about to go. If you're watching this 
now, and at least one of you is proof. I, that I, this this song is just straight up banger. After this playlist is insane. That was how for you to emerge from your isolation. We join us. We've allowed you to believe that you're the last of us. Okay, I think they should leave the raging now. Focus, boss. Focus, boss. Mankind waits for you. Focus, boss. Okay, one room. One room. I need it to be one room. I believe they can do it. Boss is at 30 and a half percent. I think they can do 20% in one, uh, in one lust. Guys, I need you guys to fucking believe with me that they can do this now. They need to push the boss when they come out. That town caprock is insane. That camera, bro. Don't drag this boss excessively now. Where is the timer? Where is it? Ooh. It's fine. It's fine. They're so far ahead. They're so far ahead. Harvest soul in 18. They got it. They got it. Easy. Easy for the boys. Easy clap for the boys. Okay, that is the first run concluded. Clocking in at a 56, 56 minutes. Uh, I would say strong finish. Blood Queen plus Lich King, very clean. But Syndragosa. And everything between that and Blood Queen was extremely bad. I don't know if it's people trying to catch up for earlier mistakes that are doing uh, risky shit that ends up just costing us more time. Or if it's just people being dog shit. I don't know. If I would rate this run, I would say the up until... Up until Valithria, a solid 8 out of 10. Valithria all the way to Iron Council, a strong 2 out of 10, and the finish is a 7 out of 10. That leaves us at a total of maybe 4 out of 10 run. I, th I think if they would have just... Ah, uh, they just need to uh, shape up, shape the fuck up, shape, shape the fuck up. They got this. The, the healers played it well. I'm not sure about Sindragosa. Maybe the healers had a bit of a e e e iffy time there. But most of the deaths were complete player mistakes. Not tank related, not healer related. It's just single players fucking up mechanics. And those are the easiest things to fix. It has nothing to do with the comp. It's just basic shit, right? So I believe everything can be fixed here. Now. We have... Some stuff here prepared for you guys. So I have received word that there is a documentary being filmed about what it's like being a... What does it say? A documentary about what it's like being a viewer of Stet. And I have re unreleased footage from the documentary that I figured we're gonna pull up right now. Okay, so let me pull this up. So this is coming straight from leaked documents from a Twitch username Survival Hunt Assange123. Okay, let me see here. Leonard. 
That is some riveting journalism right there. Thank you so much, Survival Assange123, for leaking these documents. That is amazing. Thank you so much. So, let's see here. Let's pull up the log. Uh, let's do like this. We mark the current world record. Uh, like this. Then we go to progress. Can I do it like this? Hold on. I just don't want to do something that is maybe a bit leak. Hold on. Hold up. You're going to enjoy the caster desk for a moment. Hold the fuck up. Encounters. Compare. Compare reports. This is Notaron, I think. Pair. Okay. All right, all right. Okay. So, while the boys take a small break, maybe collect themselves and get ready for the second run, we are gonna do a short commercial break, and then we're gonna compare the Nota run damage done profile with the current state of the... Uh, how the progress run went. We know where Progress pretty much lost the ball. We know. But I figured we're still gonna watch. So I am gonna go to the toilet. Because for the the guy that has been paying a bit of attention. I have been... Uh, I am extremely hydrated right now. So I'm gonna be right back in a little bit. Hope you guys enjoying the production. I'm making the most out of being benched. And I'll be back in like just a second. All right, let's see. I think I loaded an ad there for the people that are subs. Uh, I just want to say I really appreciate you guys. I appreciate everybody that's here. But if you're able to hear me right now, thank you so much for the love and support, man. And I think I saw somebody dropping a couple of subs in the chat. Kaufman, you've done that before. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. I fucked up. So, be right back a little bit, yeah? Is the break over for you guys? Is the commercial break done? Just wanna check out with check in with the boys, see if the commercial break is done. All right. So I promised I would be back, and we're gonna look a bit of at logs. But I've also 
put on some safety gear because I'm a bit worried that I'm gonna find some stuff in these logs that are gonna be give me like severe brain damage. So while I was at taking a piss, I googled how to avoid traumatic brain injury. And the best advice, the number one advice on Google was to wear a helmet. So when we go into these logs, I am going to be wearing all the safety measures that's needed to avoid any potential damage to my brain that these logs might cause me. So let's get into it. All right. Let's look at... Madoka was pretty clean, I think. Wait, is progress red? No, progress is blue. So progress is behind 6 seconds. That's fine. Lady Death Whisper was fine, but we're behind 13 seconds, dude? What the fuck? How? That... Usually it's very easy that you look at the top, but you need to kind of look at the bottom as well. Is that maybe where the worst DPS here was 9, 13, 9, 9. Okay, like, these people down here are kind of dragging the guild down compared... Like, look at the Shadow Priest's damage here, 13k versus 15.9. Red Pala, 15.7, 15. Okay, Red Pala is doing fine for himself. Like, these mages is kind of far down. But, mind controls makes it a bit hard. Like, maybe this guy got mind controlled over and over and over. Like, it's hard to know, right? Let's just look at gunship. How are we 16 seconds slower on gunship? I'm not gonna look at that now because we have to look deep into that. Sarfang, 4 seconds behind. Ooh, 23 seconds? On fucking Velithria? Yikish bikish, dude. And I thought it was fine up until this point. Ay, ay, ay. Sindragosa, plus 49. I I'm so sorry. I must do this. I'm so sorry. I have to do this. It's good that I brought safety protection because comparing these two side by side is the worst, dude. What the fuck? Fuck, dude. Alright. Although this is a fucking disaster, rot face. Not only is it 4 seconds slower than Nota, it's also 1.12... 1 1.12 seconds despawn. Yikes. Miracola says, what's the DIs? You can use the DIs to clean unstable uh, stuff. So let's say your Holy Paladin gets, uh, I don't know, the fucking thing debuff. You can use DI on him or he can DI someone to clear it. Eight seconds faster got. 19 seconds Futricide. No, that's fucking 29 seconds. 16 seconds Council. 10 seconds Blood Queen Lanathal. I mean, we called that Blood Queen Lanathal was pretty alright for the boys. And 16 seconds heroic glitching. Okay. I would say we pretty much lost DPS consistently on everything. And the fights where we fucked up, we got beaten by a lot. Which makes sense. But even on the fights that I think went okay, we are just getting destroyed. Jesus fucking Christ. Sorry. Here. Marogara was fast. Lady Death Whisper was fast. How? I feel like there's something wrong with the combat log timer for gunship. I, I can't believe that it's that, uh, that slow. Elithria, slow. Dragosa, slow. Blood Princess, slow. God fucking damn it, dude. Ay, 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 we got fucking destroyed. 
Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. Now it's time for the funny bits. What? Oh, ours hasn't updated with everything yet, I don't think. Let's go over it fight by fight. Any Marugar fails. Okay, both guilds keep. Oh, I keep wrong. Death Whisper. Nota clean. What did we have? I'm heavily hit by Death Whisper. Shadow Bolt. He just over aggroed and died, I think. And that. Did he rest into a frost? <laughs> Don't do that. Don't rest into a frostbolt ball if that's what happened. Ozzy Bozzy was on activation into phase two. Yeah, but it happened over. He yeah, one shot it there. Yeah, no. Fuck that. Serenity. I mean, Serenity kind of fucked up. He let himself get mind control and AoE down by his guild. That's a mistake. The gunship everywhere. Sourfang was fine. Dreamwalker was... Kind of a... Uh, we got fucking destroyed here. Buffs, I think. Count 91. Eight. The fuck? We have more stacks. Maybe on more people spread out. Finding heal, huh? Nobody died, yeah, thank fuck. Oh damn it! That is quite the pump. Damn. Well But how many healers did they we have oh right, this guy doesn't have to gear that much. I don't really understand how we're that much slower when we have that much pumpers. Doesn't quite make sense. Look, even on the opener, they're just pumping harder than we are, despite us having way more healers. Look here at the pumping profile here at the start. Here it's about equal. Maybe you guys had a crazy room or something? This looks fucking insane. Uh, you know what? I am not a healer main. It's not my job to figure this shit out. They need to figure this shit out. But this is... I'm not paid for this. I'm fucking banished. Why am I sitting and trying to figure this shit out? Fucking fix it. Oh no, disaster is in Dragosa, dude. <laughs> uh Dice nice to Frost Aura and Shield to Bow? Oh, he's playing Heal Hands! Okay. Yeah, he's just not used to it, I guess. Tico back. Fussy! What? Was it Fussy that killed everyone? All players, Fussy. Damage done. Maybe that's not how I see it. Unfortunate. Unlucky. It happens. Okay, so Fuzzy exploded, killed one, two people. 
Uh, Syndra, uh, okay, Rogue killed himself, Warrior killed himself, Hunter killed himself. <laughs> this is kind of funny. This Holy Pala exploded and killed two people. Three people died because of whatever reason. Then this Holy Pala asphyxiates inside of a tube. <laughs> what, a, what a horrible sequence of events. Oh god. Ghosting did the eye. Nice. Marco, Backlash, Last Phase. Backlash death? Yeah, Sindragosa was pure fucking disaster. Then you had the Rot Fates fucking fiasco. Why do I do this to myself? Why do I watch this replay actually? What? Next run starting soon ish. Wait, where is the play button? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh wait, where is the play button? Is it, can I just play enter? No, where the fuck is it? How do I start this? I, I don't usually go here. I'm not a fucking nerd. I don't watch this. Down there it is, okay. I didn't show for me on my screen, bros. <laughs> Why? Why did they pull? <laughs> Who did this? There, there are <laughs> these guys. Okay, the hunter is maybe in the back. I, I don't know why this guy is here. Maybe he's trying to aspect the pack people. Why is this mage stop moving? Disaster, but then it gets even worse. Then it gets even worse. You you think this pool is a pure disaster? But then look. Yeah, okay, look here. The boss casts his ability. Oh my fucking god, I can't, I can't. It goes on one of them, I think. I think the guy with the circle possibly. Oh my fucking god, I can't. Yeah, look. Because the boss cast that is little ooze on guys that are outside of the gate, it will force the boss to despawn. He tried to feign. Or is that what happened? Did he die? The ooze went all the way over the dog carrier. Where did the hunter go? Did he die? Sticky ooze number four. It's the frontal that targeted. Oh my god, he got a circle. So when he got a circle here, and since he was all the way out here, if he would have been here, would have that have been fine then? But the fact that he's all the way out here, Rotface is like... I can't... I just... Ah, fuck it. And he used these bones. Is that what happened? Oh, and he comes running. He sees it happening. No. Oh. And then it's over. Well, 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 well. Okay, what else do we have? Futricide was pretty good, up until it wasn't. It was such a disaster. Replay, fucking replay it on phone. Pull that shit up, Jamie. So the pull is great, right? I wanna see the last transition. So good. Okay, so we drag the boss here, then we get the green spawn. So like, we're pushing, he is getting low, green spawns. All of melee does so much uptime here. Go on the boss, and now this is when disaster strikes. Green, okay, look at how the first green is handled. I think it goes on circle, I'm not sure. No, he can move. It's going here. 
these people should leave this guy to die. Why? 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 And now they leave. A couple of people. Like, this doesn't make fucking sense. Here it looks like these people are gonna soak. And then a couple of them are like, nah, bruh. Like... Oh my fucking god, three people died on one green explosion because of that. <sighs> Pain. And then... Then it goes into melee, like this entire stack. This melee stack should be stacking on the one side of the boss, and then when it targets, everybody goes to the other side, let that guy die. Not get knocked. The knock is a DPS loss. But instead, they decide to share it. Everybody flies to whatever place. I think it's still gonna be a disaster. That guy dies. These people die to a new explosion. Two people. Like, one of these people should die. Nothing more. One. So many problems in this run. Green again. Go goes for the mage that... Okay, so the mage does something good here. So the mage get targeted by the green. Here, I'll show you why mages are good. Green picks one of them. He will blink. Boom. That allows him to get maybe one or two more globals out. Then he will ice book. And that causes the green to become more confused than a progress raider on Syndragosa. Alright, 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 alright. I think I am most happy with that. I don't want to see anything more. Uh, I'm gonna be running another ad break.
Hallå. Can you hear me again? Am I back? One, mic check, one, two, one, two. Alright, good shit. Well, we're waiting for the runs to start. Here I am. Uh, let's see, we have Feral POV, Warrior POV, and lastly we have Step Hunter POV. Let me see if I forgot anyone. I think that's what we got. So there's been a couple of roster changes. Let's look at the Feral UI real quick. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, that's a UI. Looks like a laptop UI, doesn't it? But, okay, so what have they changed? Oh shit, I can't see. Uh, OC Bull is out. Cabs is in. Fiancé is playing. I think we have one more Feral? I think there are five Ferals. Tonix is in. Tonix was here in the chat defending his mages bo uh, the mages boys. Well, there's definitely one less mage at least. Man, this UI, I don't know guys, this feels like a bit, uh, this looks like a private server UI, so this looks like something you could find uh, on uh, on Warmain. Wait, Numa got a new PR? Huge grats. <laughs> no, but uh, seriously, I didn't see they were, I didn't know they were streaming even. I could have just popped in. Do I even follow any of their people? Who is streaming from Numen actually? Uh, if I just type in Numen. Oji, not streaming. Tetsu is streaming? Oh yeah, he is actually. I. Sh Wait, I do follow Tetsu. I didn't notice this. Man, what a shame. They had a good run, and I didn't see. Overall damage done. This is a nice little uh, color pattern down here at the right, I think. What did they run? What type of comb? Nothing too special, I don't think. Two hunters instead of three. Nothing too much, nothing too much. Tetsu on the progress stream again, I was here. Yeah, I mean, Tetsu was before my time. I um, I never knew him. Seems like a nice guy though, I just uh, didn't know him. But yeah, good for them and good for the competitive side of uh, ICC that Newman is pushing the current records. So it doesn't just become a, like, Everybody chasing Nota type of style. So this is way better. Nice, nice, nice. Happy that they got a good run. Now we hope that Progress can pull their shit together and send a clean run. We still haven't had a clean run in ever of ICC. Quick fix the production. What do you mean? You, you want me to have a fucking uh, Newman... Uh, Newman logo instead. Okay, let me tell you this. If one of you send me a logo of Newman, I can in less than five minutes fix it. But right now, I don't have a logo for Newman. I don't even know what their logo looks like. Is it just Foji logo? <laughs> I don't know. Is it just Foji standing like this and all of his boys just sitting looking up at their daddy? Or what, what is the logo of Newman even? I have no idea. Let's see, are we getting ready? Holy well, says, you need to put on a non-epilepsy friendly stream in title, I think. Right. 
I don't think it's that bad. I don't know, I guess if you watch at your like home theater, then unlucky, but as long as you don't have your fucking screen right in front of you like this, like, you won't get flashbang. The logo of Newman is the letters N-U. Maybe not the best logo that I heard so far. I guess it's minimalistic and nice in a way. Make it in paint. Okay, you know what? There has to be uh, some Newman logo. You see, if you just Google Newman logo, you get a bunch of logos, dude. Newman Yoga Studio. Here we go. Here we fucking go. Wait, you linked it? Yeah, but you can't post links, sadly, in my chat, though. Oh my god. I just spawned another unfold. Permit this guy. Permit. Robert Falfa. Okay, I got the official sound to me now. Let me see, how close are we to starting the run, actually? I have so much shit up on my screen, I cannot find my own shit. See here... That is running an ad. Okay. No, they haven't started yet. That's what's most important. Okay. Quickly gonna make something here. I need somebody to send me the fucking Newman logo, though. We need to honor the current rank one. Please, post it in my community Discord. If you aren't part of it, you can type exclamation mark Discord, I think. It's on Discord, bro. Oh. Huh? Is it? It's not in my community Discord. It's not in my DMs. If you search it on Warcraft Logs, Newman, Newman Guild, it's there. Come on, guys, we need to honor the current rank <laughs> rank one, dude. New man, new man. So if I click on the guild... Oh, there, there's a little logo. I mean, it looks pretty good. If I, if I join their... If I join their Discord, can I get it that way? Or do I need to copy-paste? I think I need to copy-paste. She. Okay. Quality production of this stream may be going downhill right now, but we're waiting for the runs to start anyway, so... They're still going over stuff with the boys. So, for right now, we are just waiting for run number two to start. If you just tuned in, uh, you're witnessing Bench POV, that I'm sadly not uh, in the run today. Shit happens. But uh, I'm happy to be doing this shoutcasting stream. I'm having a lot of fun. I kind of would have hoped for the run to be almost done by now. But, uh, I mean, you can't have it all, I guess. So I am going to be staying hyped for a bit longer. Best stream söder om söder, dude. Uh, okay, let me see. We want Newman Nota Progress. Yo, Newman Nota. And Progress. Quick production, of course. <laughs> I 
looks so fucking scuffed. Okay, let's do it. Uh, sure. Okay, we're running ads now. I mean, I'm not running ads right now. I'm here, but uh, the boys are running ads. What was Newman's time on their last run? I don't know. I think it was 49, low 49. That's what I heard. Low 49. Okay, that's like mid 49 then. Maybe I was uh, being a bit too much. Uh, let's see, do I have it here? No. Quick little uh, production, of course. You guys are being the best. Get here, and we are gonna do this. Okay, they, they are not get. You're not missing any action. We're just waiting, and while we're waiting, I am doing my absolute best to create a. So fucking scuffed, dude. <laughs> okay, uh, I, I, I can't really say that I'm, this is me doing my best. Uh, I'm a bit ashamed, actually. But, uh, look, I perform good under pressure normally. Today, not so much, yeah? Then we need to update our analyst desk. Okay, we might be having some uh, production issues right now when I remake my analyst desk. If I do, do not panic. I'm right here, boys. Right here. Let's see. This is so... Better do Gonna work. Hey, hey, I mean, I'm pretty clean with it. Did it work? It kind of works! Hashtag production, dude. Okay, let's see. How far are we from starting now? And don't fucking flame me for the Newman logo. I didn't make the fucking Newman logo, okay? You should pay your production team more. Yeah, I should pay myself more, honestly. Shout out to production crew, boys. You guys don't really understand. This is a one-man show right here. Everything that you're wit witnessing is just my different personalities taking over. Like, this is fucking Yagami Light in Death Note, dude. I just swap seamlessly between all of my different uh, personalities. Silences looks like the desk could have one more person. I mean, I did try to bring people on for today. But both, okay, one guy said, sorry, I have splits. Other guy said, I can't right now. And the third guy hasn't responded yet. Kinda rough, dude, kinda rough. All right, all right, all right. Let me see if I can find some insider info what's going on at the progress side of things. Hmm. I can't seem to figure out when they're gonna start. Sadly, I don't really have an ETA for you guys. I can see them getting ready and buffing up and stuff. But they still haven't done Paladin Blessings, so they're not like super ready to start. What is the motive behind your tattoo? 
you make it sound like you need a motive, like you're presenting it, your honor. Anfal's motive for getting a tattoo was this. Robert Falfa says, check Newman log in meantime. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Probably compare it to Nota Run, actually, like we did before. Okay, let's do it like this. We, we take the Nota Run, like this. Hit like that. Go to Newman. Compare. 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 Alright. I think I, I think I managed to make it. Okay, let's see. Uh, the blue is Newman and red is Nota. Slower Marogar. Slower Lady Death Whisper. Faster Gunship. Slower. Equal. Slower. 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 Faster. Slower. What? That, that must have been really clean trash. I am uh, impressed. I don't think there's a good way to see that here. Let's just go like this and look at the damage profile. What the fuck happened here? Is that guy's name Vagina Enjoyer based? Damage taken, Dreamwalker's Rage. What did they do? This feels like tech. Let me actually go and see if I can see a replay of that. I'm wondering a bit what they did. I'm gonna have to look at that later, there's no available mod right now. I'm curious. Anyway, moving on. Deaths. Okay, he died to mind control. Trash to Dreamwalker. That's a die to melee? Can't really see from what sort of melee though. Couple of deaths here and there. Stragosa deaths, tank deaths. Overall, pretty clean run, but they had some scary tank deaths, I think. Okay, nice, nice, nice. This looks way different between the two guilds. What a different damage profile these guilds have. One, two hunters again. Look the Shadow Priest diff. 13.5, 13.5 is basically the same. Red Paladin, 13.8, 14.8. Unholy Gate, 12.7. 14.9, what the fuck? I mean, the numbers are just higher overall on, on, on Nota. I feel like there has to be some difference in the path and shit that they did. But they threw a Dreamwalker kill. They did Dotanus Abo here while they were instead doing these Dotanus. When Rhyme Fang died, they were doing Fester Got Heroic. Okay, so they are doing. I think Newman is doing the um, same route as us. Syndra first, finish Blood Queen, and finish. Yeah. That's why it looks so different. So, despite being slower on almost every boss, they still managed to beat Nota with a different route. That's how I interpret it. 
Syndra first is best in slot. I mean, there's a reason why we do it. We seem to think that it's good. But guilds can have different perception about this. Interesting. 54 CPM. That is really high, actually. As a mage. 54 CPM across an entire raid, that is a lot of key button pressing. I feel like we should be getting ready to start, but it's not quite yet. Nota Syndra is clean with it. Miercoles says Foji is insane. I'm personally not a great fan about these player cults where you say, oh, this guy is insane, this guy is so good, this guy... Rah. It's like, yeah, there are good people, but it's all about... It also is a lot about how the raid plays around certain players. But not not to take credit away from people though, but uh, having these idols of yours that oh this guy's this, this guy's so good doesn't really help. No, that that's not where I go. Uh, let's go like this. Fifteen times on Thompson, fourteen times on Foji. There goes. I mean, all fair, but homie raid leads at twenty-five man speedrun and pulls hundred parses still. Yeah, yeah, sure. I think uh, mage raid leading is uh, in retail considered really good, right? There hasn't been many good mage raid leaders in uh, on private servers or in Wrath in general. I feel. But yeah, okay, interesting to see the log. I'm tired now, I don't want to see it anymore. Bye! Let's see, how close are we to put? Making a table now. Everybody seems to be tagged in. Claudine says, I mean, if you ain't gonna raid lead as a fire mage and rap, what else are you gonna do? Smile. Lowest duty class. Based, I guess. But it can sometimes be a bit tricky to raid lead, raid cooldowns and stuff. As a mage, I would guess. But, yeah. Regardless. I do think overall that the uh, the importance of raid leading is not that great in speedrunning. In speedrunning, raid leading isn't as important as in many other situations. Alisa saying we are going. Alright. Good. Are ready from me. I think I speak for myself and all of the people watching, we are ready as well. We've been ready. It's you guys that is keeping us waiting. Good Turmo says, I'm ready. Yeah, I mean, you said that many leveling races as well didn't go that well, did it? What? I'm sorry. <laughs> Miercola says, yeah, it's gonna be way more about the plan. Yeah, it's, it's mostly about executing the plan. Guys, we got a pull going. You guys know what that means. I mean, it's time for the anthem.
get that cozy feeling going. What? I think we got baited, bros. That pull timer was bullshit. Man, what the fuck? Got to resubscribe with hype. <laughs> Yo! Can we please, please behave? Relax. Relax. Just because you lost a leveling race at some point, let's be civil, yeah? This is a three-year-old three year grudge. I mean, if your son in the future says something to you and you say, well, you are a walking three-year-old grudge, that doesn't make what you just did okay. It's still no. I still do not condone hate speech. This is the Warrior Feral stack. Yeah, the, it is actually. One less mage, one, one more Feral, I think. I think that's what we're witnessing. One more Feral? I think that's it. I think that's it. One less Hunter. Oh, I mean, we already tried going one less Hunter when we left him outside of Rotface door. Alright. Well, I definitely think we have a PB in us. If you guys remember, we uh, did a vote before the first run. Uh, where people got to put all their channel points into if the first or second run was going to be the fastest. The first run was 56 minutes after some disaster. Several disasters. Uh, namely, Sindragosa was awful, Putricide was awful, Rotface was awful, Vestergut was awful. And if you're hearing this now and you're like, what do you mean, Anfal? How can those easy bosses be such a problem? I'm as surprised as you are. Wait, pulling five? What is that pull timer? Is he trying to give me, give me a fucking panic attack over here? Can we finally send the anthem of speedrunning? Can we please get a pull timer for the boys? We've been here all night. We're ready. Trix is out. I don't really see a pull timer anywhere. There, pull in 50. Nary X asks, Anfal, why are you not speedrunning? Well, uh, progress and pretty much most of the guilds right now doesn't seem to think Enhancement Shaman is viable. Honestly, I can't blame them. Uh, I am parsing 99s consistently and I'm getting beaten by Warriors Amazing parsing 89. So, yeah. I would bench myself as well for some of these. Alright, let's get ready. We're going. Hope you guys are ready, put on your seatbelt, we're about to go fast, progress sending, the, everything that they have in this run, let's go. to get a bit into shout casting again i'm ready for another hour spikes coming out getting cleared pretty fast we have a hunter far back that is the worst spike you can get in my opinion the second worst
players. Maybe they were just struggling right now. Maybe it's uh, the nerves, I don't know. It's fucking 20% speedrunning. 20%. Nobody gives an actual fuck about how the raids go right now. How can you... How can you crush under pressure when you're speedrunning at 20% buff in ICC? I, I don't get it. Like, sure, if it was the second or last week of 30% speedrunning, the last chance, sure. But now? I don't know, man. Anyway, we should be getting ready soon to pull again, I hope. Uh, I'll catch you guys. Alright, we need to unfuck the stream, I think. Let me see here. Boom. 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 And boom. Here we go. We are officially back. Is it really? What? It's 10.50 and the raid ends at 11 p.m.? to get to work tomorrow at like 6 in the morning. Why am I doing this? If they wipe, I'm ending the stream. I'm, I mean, I'm as hyped as you guys, but holy fucking shit, dude. Alright. Anyway, let's get hyped. Let's go. Let's go. Let's fucking go, progress. Let's go. If you, if, I'm ending the stream, I'm just passing stop stream if they wipe now. Like, if they reset now, you guys go watch somebody else. I'm done. Alright, let's see here. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? First spikes should be coming up here. Hopefully we dodge the healers and we have Shadow Priest, Mage and Moonkin. That is like the best possible you can get. That is awesome. Dodge some damage, pop, pop up some damage, boss is at 48%. This feels fast, but I mean, I called it being fast on the previous run and it was pretty fucking slow. All right, let's see here. And boss is at 30%. That's better than last time. Resto Shaman is getting a bit Okay, please, 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 do not wipe now. Do, do not fuck this up. Do, it's unacceptable. Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Stay alive. Two mages. Perfect. Perfect. Fuck him. Fuck him. Holy Pala is blasting. Mages are taking heavy damage. Good, good, good. The worse they play, the more likely it is that I get to play. What? Priest is dead. Mage is dead. Combo dress. People are almost dying left and right. They're pushing, they're pushing. No, no reset, no reset. I don't end streaming. Oh my fucking god, this loot window is as big as his hopes and dreams of this being a fast run. Holy shit. Swapping POV right there, that was too much for me. Warrior? Waiting to go in, of course, of course. Based, based. Holy Pala is gathering the mobs. Bit messy pull, mid messy. Oh, we lost the red pala. Red pala is dead. God fucking damn it, dude. Mobs are dying fast. I don't see any combat rest tracker on this guy's UI, but we have like a. F we have the entire fucking Lion King. What what do the what do the people in Lion King the people what do the lions in Lion King call their home? It's called the Lion's Den or something in English? I don't know. Whatever. That's what it feels like raiding ICC this late. Again, very important that you interrupt the Cursor Corporate. People didn't interrupt. Okay, we got one Wasted Global trying to dispel that shit out. That could have been an offensive one instead. Pushing damage, pushing damage. Red Pala is... Ghost? Did he disconnect maybe? Oh, yikes, dude. He is Alt F4. Did he Rage Break himself? 
We lost no one yet, but the Feral is incredibly low health. Please live. Okay, he's up. Shadow Priest got combat rest. We've lost one guy. Red Pala is outside of the raid. This is fucking over, dude. Uh, Red Pala is such an important... Not, not that, that they push so much damage, but they're so important. Rogue dc as well. I am not staying up for this shit. If they are far behind by the time we get to Sarfang... Ciao, dude. Fucking ciao, dude. Luckily for you guys, it doesn't look like I'm gonna get slotted in the next four coming weeks. So if you enjoyed the stream that I've done today... Uh, I'm probably gonna send it again next time that Progress does speedruns. I don't really have any interest in broadcasting any of the other guilds doing their runs. It's like, I don't know these people, I don't really care. I do this for the for the boys. If my boys are raiding, I'll be shoutcasting, dude. But, um... Yeah, this doesn't look too good. Rogue's dead. Mm. I mean, the, sure, there's good damage all around, but this is gonna be so hard to come back from. The Paladin is back in the fray. Did he get combat rest, actually? Maybe it was a disconnect into combat rest. We were plus seven seconds at Marugar. Yikes. Let's see if that corrects itself now. This feels like a very slow Lady Death Whisper, does it not? I would imagine that it goes from plus 7 to like plus 50. Too many disconnects, too many people dead. Really sad way to see the run go. But small margins, Rogue dead again. Winnie319 says, is Anna dead in speedruns? Right now, I don't think Enha is uh, viable. Plus 53. I fucking called it. I fucking called it. It's like I have an internal Carcadian rhythm that is like, I'm just able to predict how much time is passing when people make stupid shit. Oh, what a superpower, dude. That's insane predict- Another Finnish little ad, of course. Oh my god, I don't want to watch this. Uh... Oh my god, Finland is just blasting us with the uh, fucking uh, ads right now. We're back. There's a lot going on on this guy's stream. Like, there's a, there's a lot to unpack when I go to this guy's UI. Okay, they started the gunship. Plus 7, plus 53. Yikes. What is that on the right? He's tracking all of the druid's combat dresses and innovate. Do you guys see that? Overlapping with his speedrun timers? <laughs> this is pretty cool. I haven't seen that before. But man, I, I, I have to say this UI is complete fucking chaos. Complete chaos. <laughs> There's so much going on here. <laughs> But yeah, if they are gonna... I mean, I... Oh, fuck. Okay. Gunship is historically where we lose time every time. We usually go from being a couple seconds behind to being, like, plus 20. If these timers show 120 behind after this, it's over. It's done. The run is over. You can consider it a practice run at that point, but if you're that far behind, you either need to have some major discovery or tech to push yourself past that, which we are not gonna be doing any of today. Today is just a go fast run. Yeah. But man, Dreamy says, can they recover this or is it GG? I, I would say if the timer goes to plus 120, the run is over and I should go get some fucking sleep. Because if anything, watching this run makes me want to put myself to sleep. I was more hyped for the first run until it completely crumbled. This looks a disaster. But to be fair, the disaster this run has been mostly caused by, I think, disconnects? People disconnecting left and right?
I got sent a DM of a disconnect. I will have to watch that later. Never Metal says, what do you mean? Run first run was P content? I mean, you consider it content, but you have to... Okay, 103. That is not too bad. We lost 10 seconds. That is a pretty good gunship section for progress. We're gonna let this shit roll. I, I, I think... I think this is fine. Oh my fucking god, stop looking at the loot. You are mid-speed run. And you have a fucking loot window as taking up a third of your monitor and you're looking at loot. I can't. I fucking can't. Okay, let's see here. Does he track shit? Where does he track who has combat rest ready, by the way? Okay, timer gets moved. That's good. Where does he track combat dresses? I don't think he does. Or maybe that's the thing here. He tracks salvation. I mean, that makes sense. You want to track salvation. That's good. Okay, let's see if the Finnish uh, squad uh, are still sending ads or if we can enjoy our gameplay. Let's watch uh, some stat. Should we watch some stat? I like watching stat. You know who else loves watching stat? Fucking wowhead article writers. That every time progress achieve anything, they push this guy's content. <laughs> I love playing into that because he gets so fucking pissed when I say that. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Okay. Nothing special, this boss has no particular speed running strats. I guess the only thing you could be doing that's considered a bit of speedy speedy is that you just fucking face tank the beasts. That's it. Alex says, stat interface is too clean and so is the gameplay. I mean, we already talked about it during the Ruby Sanctum splits. The best part about watching stat clips is whenever things go bad, you get the little anger shakes with the mouse you know like the autistic kid in the back of the class that gets annoyed when he gets bullied and he's just writing down names furiously in his death note he's like fuck these people no, those type of shakes so good tanner says stats monitor must be 50 inches with how small some of this shit is yeah i don't know man i love stats i have nothing bad to say okay based based this is a pretty good blast, pretty good blast. <laughs> Alex does the same shakes every mage does when he innovate is half. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you guys will not be able to watch any like stream now and not pay attention to the little like anger shakes that people do when things go bad. It could be somebody dying, it could be an innovate being slow and stuff. Robert Falfa says, this G, that's the maximum effort raid leader, right? Yep, yeah, she's been great. We lost our main tank to beef bar when uh, ICC was done. But uh, she and a couple others from uh, maximum effort joined and she's been great. Nothing bad to say. Marcus says, the funniest thing is worse shaking her camera when they spam heroic strike. <laughs> What is he doing? Why? Why is he upset? Why is he angry? I don't know. So good. Calm down, Stat. You're you're not the run isn't over yet. Oh my god, they gained three seconds, guys. They had a three sec look look at the timer, dude. That was a fast as fuck death death bring us artifact. He speed potted, he did a late pot. <laughs> so funny, dude. He does a, does a late potion, he just start fucking shaking, dude. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Alright. Uh, this trash is a bit of a make or break in a speedrun. If you do it cleanly, I would say... 
you keep like if you do it cleanly, which you need to to compete against the sub 50 runs. But if you fuck it up, right now we haven't fucked it up. One guy has died, that is fine. But if you fuck it up and have multiple deaths and shit, or you have a mob in the back, good grip. Then you can lose 20-30 seconds here. And you know how I was excited about- Oh my god, we won 3 seconds on Deathbringer Sourfang! Then losing 30 seconds here is just fucking GG. And that's the thing people need to remember that. Sure, you gain a couple of seconds, you lose a couple of seconds just parsing on the boss. But speedruns in general are not won or lost in those like fixed positions. It's won or lost in the transitions between the fixed positions. So right now you're in a fixed position. How much time can you actually gain by doing this Valkyrie perfectly? Two seconds? But when you have situations where the whole raid needs to transition from point A to point B and you need to gather mobs and you need to AoE them and you can't have people dying because then people need to use defensive GCDs and shit, that can make like half a minute in one section. So that is the biggest difference between a speedrunner, world first raider, and like a parser. It's those type of small mistakes. And when you do your rotation in World of Warcraft, you are gated by something called the global cooldown. Which you can lower with haste, but when you're playing a speedrun, your number one biggest limiter on your time is actually how you control and move your character. And in World of Warcraft, there is zero input lag, and you have complete control of your character. Meaning that there is nothing limiting a good player from moving perfectly. Whereas when you have a GCD, basically putting everybody on the same level, uh, like same playing field when it comes to doing the rotation. So in my eyes, a person moving correctly is far more impressive than a person executing the rotation, because that's basic as fuck. You can do that after three weeks of playing Naxxramas, and you're done. But when it comes to how you move your character, the only real way of analyzing that is probably gonna be by repeatedly watching your own gameplay and being like, shit, I'm late here, I'm positioning wrong on this mob, I'm not putting myself in an advantageous position for the next pull, etc, etc, etc. So those are the type of things that I look at when I look at a player in a speedrun setting, if they're playing well or not. These small things that over time makes them pull ahead or fall behind the rest of the group. And a lot of people when they look at races to world first, if you look at all the races to world first, me as an enhancement shaman have been able to pump. I've been like a top performer every race despite my class being dog shit except for like tier 7 or tier 8 maybe, then my class was fine. And it's, it just comes down to those small things, and it's so hard to explain what you're doing, but that's what you need to be looking at. Anyway, Dreamwalker is where Nota has been completely crushing everyone, uh, but today Newman managed to tie them. I'm very excited to see um, if we're able to keep up with the top times here. I think last time we lost maybe 20 seconds on Valithria alone, and that's before everything went south. So right now we are one minute behind the world record. I would hate to see anything past 120 because that means that we did the gauntlet and this boss incorrectly. Alright, so people are pushing, pushing, pushing. Let's see, it turns from one minute to what? 144. What time is it? No. Nah. Nah, bruh. I'm done. So, I think we're gonna host one of the boys. I'm not gonna stay up. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun, but I'm also exhausted. I did a stream for myself today for like six hours, and then I've been streaming this for another four and a half hours. And I've been uh, pretty high octane all day, screaming and shouting. So. I'm gonna be hosting one of the boys, I'm gonna host uh, the warrior. Uh, if you guys wanna go over there and see his timers and shit, you can. 
and I'll be back doing this whenever I'm benched, which is probably gonna be for the next four weeks, because Enhancement Shaman just doesn't cut it. So let's raid, and thank you guys for making this day awesome. I had a lot of fun making this, everything from the shoutcasting desk. Everything has been great. Love doing this, but I gotta go. Gotta go to work tomorrow, and this run is fucking dead. Until next time, I'm out.